Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is Friday, July 22nd, 2022, and we are live at the Hive. All right. How is everybody doing tonight? We made it another week. Yeah. Pull up my chat so I can see all who's here. I saw just a minute ago. How's everyone doing? I made a couple changes. We're upgrading the studio. Studio. <laughs> Basement. Dungeon. A little bit. Hopefully you all can hear me. Test, test, check, check. Check one, two. What's up, Blue Minati Ninja? Iggy? Craig? These bladers are in the hive. What's up, Michael Morgan? Mike Jernak? Top Dog? Hopefully you all had a fantastic week. And a very fast week it was. Yes, Tom, it was very fast for me. My, I can't believe my Friday is already here. This is what I wait for. Now I've got to take a breath. <sighs> got to slow down just a little bit. Got to slow down so I can chill with all my, all my hive mates. I get about three, three and a half hours with you guys. <laughs> and I have to pack in a lot. Like, hello, how you doing? How you been? Oh, my goodness. I have, I have a new plan for tonight. I have a little something special to show you guys and gals. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to have so much fun. Country boy, that is an O-light. There's a couple O-lights in the background. Matter of fact, I got I have the uh, the lantern going on. Oh, Blue Minata. Blue Minati. He said, let's get this party started right. <laughs> yeah. We're going to rock and roll. Let me see if I can find that real quick. There it is. Thank you, Bloominati Ninja, getting this party going. Putting some honey up in the hive. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. My aim is to make the live stream more and more fun for you all and myself. We're going to have some fun, and it's just going to get a little bit better and a little bit better. Robert Feely, member for three months. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much for the support and... Rothmo, he said, you should do a video, top 10 reasons why your husband should collect knives. Number seven will blow your mind. I'm still banned. <laughs> Rothmo, uh, thank you, Bluminati Ninja. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is awesome. And let's see, what was I? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to be doing a couple new things. And one of them is. Not itinerary, but I do have a, a way to help keep me on track because I am so good at forgetting what I'm talking about because you guys are so good at distracting me. I'm easily distracted. It's kind of fun. You know, I, I kind of like it. I kind of enjoy it. Uh, Blazeburger, what's up? Someone replied to Quentin's question. What was Quentin's question? Quentin's question. Quentin had a question. I have to pull up my live chat here. Make sure if uh, up in the chat that you're not on top chat, that you're on live chat so you don't miss maybe uh, what's going on or what people are talking about. And if you're on a uh, laptop, you can pop the chat out and make it a lot bigger. You can make it bigger. <laughs> there we go. Evening, 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 everyone. And I'm going to start doing this more often in the chats. We're going to we're going to that way when people pop in, they'll know what we're talking about. Most of the time, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I do have a couple cool upgrades uh, this week. One of them being, I'm going to start using these banners, and another one, I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit when a few more people show up. And then next week, I have another upgrade to the live stream. We're just going to just improve. Tonight is the 50th live at the Hive. Can you believe that? 50. Holy moly, 50. Canuck for blinker fluid. <laughs> Thank you, Canuck. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Throwing some honey up in this hive. And we are working on a new background, one that's big enough so I can go widescreen. That way there's enough room for me and Mrs. Bees without us having to be like, ah. Bees, you ever had Arby's? If so, have you ever tried their ranch? I think they have the best ranch. You know, I don't know that I have. I, I don't remember... If I've ever had their ranch or not. Uh, MC is doing a live giveaway right now. Yes. Don't forget to blink. Yeah. Make sure everybody knows. So they'll leave and go to MC. <laughs> now he does his live giveaways. I think just about every Friday night. 
And if you go over there, tell him bees said hello. And he ought to stop by and say hi afterwards. He's a good dude. Dwayne K said, I'm 50, 50 years old. I'm 50. <laughs> uh, MC st stay trying to steal hive members. That's all right. You can go over there and give it a shot. And then when you're, when he's done, you can come back or you can have them both playing at the same time. You know, whatever. It's all up to you. Bees read his question. Uh, okay. So that is something else to remember folks. It is hard for me to see everything that comes up here. Uh, Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. Um, let's see who has a question. Quentin, I have a question about my Carter scales. I currently love the patina on mine and no longer want them to go any further. Can I put clear coat on the scales to prevent them from further patina? That's a question I don't know an answer to. I would say you probably could, but it wouldn't feel like it. I don't know if you have the micarta. There's a, a couple different kinds. If you have the micarta that has the real uh, fabricy feel, uh, I'm gonna definitely gonna have to work on that. That yes, I'm gonna have to work on lighting for the front camera now. But if you have it, oh boy. Whoa, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get that figured out. Um if you if you hello, I'm watching from Northern California huh? horror movie. Um yeah, I mean it would make it would make them sticky. I mean, not like bad sticky, but I imagine it would give them a good grip. And I don't think anything else would happen once you clear coated them. Just clean them and let them patina, Nick Martino said. You know what? I'm gonna move a light over here because I did a little something special but it took away the lighting for, for my main camera, which is making it not focus like it normally does, which is really weird. I haven't had an issue with that. That is very peculiar. I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm, it might just be lighting, but that's all right. We're going to... Quentin said, that is very true, but sacrifices must be made, I believe. What's up, Ken Faulkner? Peter Miller he said, welcome all. Tuning in from beautiful Denver, Colorado. I love hearing where everybody's tuning in from. You know, I can always do this to give you guys texture vision. Yeah. And I have, oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I think once we get about 100 in here, I'm going to show you guys the new the new feature that we have on Bees Blades. Um, I'm going to move a light around front. Hold on. Where did the bees go? Where did he go? Oh, which way did he go? I will call him George, and he'll be my best friend. <laughs> you guys hear me okay? How's the, how's the sound? Check, check, check. The patina comes from oils on your hand. Clear coat won't stick to oil. Lightly clean them, and they'll patina again. Yeah, that's a good point. I hear people using um, toothbrushes to clean their micarta. Let's see how the, the knife cam works now. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, baby. Loud and clear. Very, very nice. Very nice. Um, oh, my goodness. I have so many cool things. Hey, what's up, Mateo? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um, and if anybody has one of these, now would be a time. I'll write it down, and we may... Pick a topic, one of your topics to add to the itinerary or the next one. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we're getting it dialed in. What's up, Rick Atkins? And anybody that's new to the news, <laughs> anybody that's new to the Bees Hive, you're going to have fun. We're going to have fun tonight. Everyone go sub to Budget Blade Reviews. He has awesome content coming soon. Don't forget to smash that like button. My window is open and I smell grilling going on somewhere. Oh, Joe smells somebody grilling. Oh, oh, oh. yep. This is this is the time where we all are settling in to say hello to everyone, and it's cool to see where everyone's from. That is always exciting. Oh, it's very nice, very very nice. Peter Miller smacked the like button like Uncle Roger's mama smacked him for using metal spatula and nonstick pan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Oh, Christopher, you lost your hiccup. No, dude. Are you sure it's just not misplaced? You sure maybe it's not in between the seats or it slid behind and it's, it's sitting in the floor of the back seat? Did you retrace your steps? Oh, that is the worst. Oh, my goodness. Steve Sweeney said, it is absolutely necessary to have fun. Prado, budget blade reviews, Prado. All right, Um. so let's see. Oh, my goodness, that that is, I really hate to hear that because that's one of the knives I have on the table. Man, I hope you didn't lose it. I hope you just misplaced it. Is there anyone here, this is your first live. Do we have any newbies to the live stream? Maybe you're watching, you're watching everybody talk, and you're like, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about knives yet. I'm just checking this out. This is the place to be because there's a bunch of people in here that if you have a question, we will answer it. Somebody will have the answer. And I don't care what kind of knives you had. I don't know if you, you bought your first knife yesterday at a gas station. It doesn't matter. You like knives. And that's why we're here. One of the reasons we're here. Also, we're here for the fellowship because we are all like-minded people. And the more you're in here, the more you see we are like-minded. And I'm going to go over a bunch of knives and a couple new items that I have. And then I have one, two, three little unboxings to do. And yeah, we've got some fun stuff. Oh, <laughs> and do you guys remember last week I opened a package from Iggy and I got the uh, the case for the knife? I put the wrong knife in it. <laughs> the leather. Jerry, uh, topic idea, titanium version of Kaiser Cormorant. I want, but it's out of stock everywhere. Oh, OK, here's what you do if you want one. This works because that's what I do. Go to Mojave Outdoor. Go to their titanium version of the Cormorant and click on notify me. You will get notified when it's in stock and you'll be able to get it. I've done that on three or four. Or I don't know how many knives, but it works because they don't announce when they put something in stock. It just appears, you know, kind of like White Mountain Knives. The knife will just appear. There you go. Um yeah, dude, I, I don't I don't blame you for wanting that knife. It, it is really cool. What's up, Darnell? Joe Isabella. Uh, Tim B said, I'm new. I don't know what to do. Said is my best Joe Dirt voice. <laughs> All right, so now I'm not new. Oh, that's great. Love this channel. Can't wait for Fridays to get here. Tell me about it, country boy. I can't wait for Fridays to get here either. Here's the, uh, oh, we're at 99. It's, it's almost time. Uh, we'll give it a few more minutes and I'll show you guys the new feature that we have on the live stream. One of the features we're going to, when you pop in, you'll know what we're talking about because we'll have these uh, thingies showing. And then another feature is going to be something special I'm going to show you. Christopher Thacker said, got Civivi Elementum in Damascus and wood to replace it. LS said, if you don't know what you're doing, do something else. <laughs> Or learn. Uh, budget blade reviews. Oh, yeah. Let me do this. Let's see. I'm I'm getting I'm getting geared up to start having very nice live streams. I'm just saying because it's the highlight of my week, and I'm like, okay, I need to put some money into it. So I put some money into it. Live at the high. What's up, Blue Sting? Silent Black Disc, what's happening? Nick Martino said, always improving. That's why I love this channel. Always onward and up when upward. Rocking my Finch Sun Drop today. It's a pre, it's a proto. I was able to acquire it and it's stunning. Oh, very nice, Tim. Very nice. And I'm I'm learning more about uh StreamYard. And StreamYard, the only thing about StreamYard, which I'm using as my platform to have everything hooked up, is that it's a little slow. Because lot uh, YouTube Live is a lot is faster. I can see what's going on over there. Peter Miller, topics. Silverware is typically neither silver nor do you wear it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna write that down. Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. There you go. There's your there's your topic. The Rough Rider Frog Sticker or something like it. Mimo's in the hive. Mateo, hey, Mateo, I found one of your stickers. It's in one of the giveaways tonight. And if you're just getting in here and you haven't hit the thumbs up, when we get to 250 thumbs up, 
the odds are we do a bonus giveaway. Just saying. And there may be a bonus giveaway tonight. Just saying. Budge Blade Refuge said, is a hot dog a sandwich? Man, that's a good one. I'm going to write that one down. That's one. That's that's timeless. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I love this stuff. Steve Sweeney said, I received a nice letter today. Somebody went, uh, talked about we money versus Civivi versus uh, Sin Cut. Budget Blade Reviews, it helps me to find a knife I've been putting off and just sharpening until my mind is right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Keith said, I hit the like button 250 times. As long as the sequence ended up with it back on the like, you know, that's always that's always a good thing. Dwayne K said, the titanium cormorant is in stock at White Mountain Knives. There you go. Use code BEES10 and you'll get 10% off. And it, I think it's like 120 bucks. So you get... 12 and 12, you'll get 24 bucks off. Is that right? Is it my math right? That's 20. Oh, no, you get 10%. Get 12 bucks off. <laughs> I, was, I was doubling it. No, don't double it. Titanium cormorant. Yeah. This thing is so sweet. Now, if I can get StreamYard to catch up. There we go. There we go. Mimo asked the same. Why do you park in the driveway but drive in the street? <laughs> what? <laughs> you drive in the parkway or park in the driveway? You guys are awesome. We're going to have some fun tonight. Um, has anyone made a soup sandwich? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I already forgot the question. A hot dog is its own category, but ketchup is technically a fruit smoothie. You know what? You're, you're right. I mean, it is a fruit. <laughs> um bees have you heard anything about the kaiser axis drop bear knife and when it's dropping i believe seems like i heard in early august i think i know i know i don't have one and i know i want one i want one yesterday just saying i definitely want hot tuna was a great brand oh yeah um let's see we have 101 watching we need we need some okay we're we're about equal with the likes. You guys want to see something cool? Popular knives and similar similar budget options. Popular knives. Popular knives and similar budget options. No hot dog buns on Fridays. Is that a rule? Why do they call them apartments when they're all together? <laughs> the QSP hedgehog. You know what? I'm going to have to look it up. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. QSP hedgehog. I'm taking notes tonight. But I am going to work on staying on some topics. Most I've seen from the hive has been cool. So can't wait to see this one. Dude, we're going to have some fun tonight. Ed Durbin said, I'm only coming in long enough to tell you, to yell at you for causing me to spend money. Once again, one of your reviews impacted my bank account. What? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to say. Uh, why do they call buildings, buildings a building when they're already built? Noted. I'm taking notes. Yes, noted. Kaiser Original of Amazon, Amazon ordered mine. Ooh, the, oh, the, see, the original. That's another one. It, it was real popular and then it it was sold out and then people kind of forget about it be, and then they sneak it back in on you. Don't you hate how they do that? Would you guys and gals, let me see. Now, this tonight is going to be my first test run of some of this new stuff to let you, you know, let you know what's currently going on. And the only issue I'm having so far is my mouse doesn't want to cooperate, but I have ways around that. And let's try something here. All right. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for the upgrade to Bees Blades? We got a little upgrade action. You guys want to see the knives around the channel this week? Let's do this. 
Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Would you look at it? We got one, two, three. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a knife cam. <laughs> what do you think about dim apples, huh? We have a knife cam. <laughs> I'm excited. I am so excited about this. Yes, I will be able to show you guys two different views. I can zoom in and show you something up close, or I can have something sitting down on the table to show you. We can talk about what's down there, and and we'll I'll get all the kinks worked out tonight. But, yeah, I mean, I'll be able to show you. The only thing I haven't figured out is the little flashy flash that keeps happening. I'll probably – I'll get that figured out. And it could just be because my computer is being worked as hard as it can. Um, earlier tonight when I was testing it out, um, <laughs> Todd said, look at them. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah, we we got a knife cam. Robert Felix said, bees, I want to get that Tonto Beluga. Just not sure what version. Open the Beluga. See, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this more interactive. And when I'm talking about knives... And I have all these knives and things laying next to me. You guys don't know what's there. And by the way, I'm only zoomed in on these three knives. I can zoom out and you can see all the stuff on the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I spent a considerable amount of time figuring out how to do this today. How about that? Bees tricks of the future. <laughs> From the future. <laughs> Bees tricks of the future. Um, so... All right, let me give you a give you a view. See, I can I can just have one out here and we could be talking about it. And then I can I could pick it up and then I can come up here and I can show you and I could do this. I can let's see where did I lose my mouse? Okay, I can have use my mouse and I can do this and I can come up here and show you this view. Look at that. Would you look at it? It is a chunker. Serious chonker. <laughs> Blaze Burger said, I can't handle all the table. Dennis said, zoom out. Oh, I will. I will. Knife cam. Kurt said, I can't stop buying them anyway. Gorilla said, I have a beluga waiting in California. Poor, lonely beluga. Hey, special shout out to everyone that's listening right now. There's some of you listening at work. I saw your comments earlier on the Bees Blades live announcement. Be careful. I hope you are having a good day at work. Hope it's a good work day. Some of you might be able to sneak in and say hi or your lunch break or your break or whatever, but I know some of you have your pods in and you're listening right now. Shout out. I'll try to read as many comments as I can. That way you'll know who's talking and who's saying what. I like to do that. What's up, honey bear? Prado said, I just wish they hadn't changed the grips on the Tonto Beluga. Yes, where is my regular beluga? If, did everyone in here watch my beluga video? Because there was a difference between the original beluga and the Tonto. Um, let's see, where did I put it? Okay, now let's uh, do an old switcherooski back here. Now look, can you see the difference in the scales? That is something I noticed when I went to reverse flick it. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Harry Wright said, B's going high tech. So now you can see the difference. See the fuller? The fuller is, is above the scales, and you can reach it with your finger. Right here, they went up a little. See, they made the handle wider, and you, you don't have as much access to the fuller. On this side where your fingernail grabs it, you don't have that same amount of access. Just Nate Dog said, I'm at work chiming in. Dude, just Nate Dog. I was talking to you, brother. <laughs> Thank you for the five doll hairs. Keeping the honey flowing up in this hive. Keeping it flowing. I heard Miss Bees just go by and go, whoop, whoop, whoop. Holy moly, that is a wide body. <laughs> you get that right, Top Dog. That is a wide body. It's a wide bodied knife. Yeah, so why did they do this? If you saw my video, you saw me go to flick it, and I was like, oh. So if you look, let me zoom back out, because, you know, we have this new modern technology in here. Up here, you, you can't get your finger in there. I can't get my, uh, let's see, where am I going? It's making corrections. See, I can't. I have to choke all the way down to here 
to get it to fly out. Christopher said, curious if the distance on the fuller is a manufacturer flaw causing it to uptick more than it should. I don't know. I just know that the, they made the handle too wide. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely, definitely something worth noted. Blades Hook Daniel said, we are fancy now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, you would think because everything else is, is just about the same. This one, the scales on, on the, on the uh, Tonto are just a tad longer. It's just a little bit longer. And just a little bit, a little bit higher. The scales are just a little bit higher. Anyone order the new petrified fish, the flavorist? I have one on the way. What's up, Pam Griffith? What's up, Pam? How you doing tonight? We're just showing off some a new feature. What's up, Knives Fast? <laughs> Top Dog said, "Choke chat, choke that chicken." I mean, Beluga. The flipper has changed. Is the flipper different too? Whale, whale. What's up, KC? Let's take a look at this flipper. How is the flipper? You know, it, it has changed a little bit. It sticks out just a little bit further. I know the flipper on the original Beluga is, is a little small. And I don't know. It You have to be careful. If you're not careful and you hit the side of that, that flipper and your finger slides off, it doesn't feel good. The flavorist may, be, may put the PF919 on vacation for a while. Jody said, sweet baby Beezus, a Tonto Beluga. Let me see. <laughs> All right, let's back out here and give you a, a comparison. You know I like my comparisons. G-Ball said, I came home from work. I have two awesome knives to open, the Arcane Crawler and a Spartan Harsey 2021 Special Edition. Ooh. Yeah, I think they made an error. So let's put them up here and you guys can see the differences. What's up, Pee Wee? Pew, 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 or sin. Nice facet. I have one of those on the way. Yeah. It's it's a big and it's a beast. I know you like KC likes big knives. Pam said, I'm just waiting on Josh to get home. He's working out in the heat today, and I'll be upset he's missing the start of tonight's live. Man, I have a Gen 1 beluga. That is true. Mine, the, the the next beluga that came out after this one has a little bigger flipper. Ma Michael Morgan said it's a thick one. Yep. When does when does Josh get home? That's the question. Oh, ho, ho, a little sneak peek. There's a bunch of stuff laying all around these knives. So here's the beluga. And here's that's so raven. Here's the Raven that was on the channel this week. What do you guys think about the Raven? Look at that. Look at that edge smiling at us. Dude, this is so cool. The scale by the blade is totally different too. Yeah, I haven't. Now, I do have. I will say the, the baby Beluga is a way easier to flip. The flipper on this one is much easier to deal with. It is so easy to flip this one. The OG Beluga is perfect. I uh, Thizla, Thizlamic said, the OG Beluga is perfect. I think it's the angles of the Tonto clashing with the grip. Um, well, if if you look, the, the grip on the Tonto Beluga is higher. The scales are higher. They go up into... The fuller. See how this one, you can see the entire fuller. And then on the beluga, it goes up. They made it, they made it a little thick. So it kind of blocks your reverse flick. Blue sting, what's all of them? Budget Blade Review said, I love imagining what knives you guys are talking about. Thank you. Love all the guys, love all you guys and girls. Yes, sir. Uh, I prefer the drop point over the Tonto, Iggy said. Prater said, I love all four of my Belugas, minis and full size, just the same. Rothmo said, Bees, maybe this will help your background tapestry issue. Search Amazon for custom tapestry. Very cheap. Custom tapestry. 
Well, I am in the works of of getting a really cool tapestry for the background. Now, see, this one works, and this is the one you guys have all seen, but I have to have it zoomed in so far that I'm like, pow, pow in your face. Jason said, I need more Kubis for sure. I hate to say it. I don't really like the Tonto and the Beluga, though. I need a nice clip point like the Victor. Uh, the black scales are curved at the end more than the micarta. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so there are differences. They look the same till you see them set next to each other. Definitely. And here's here's the baby beluga. Let me zoom out a little bit. There's the baby. I like the flipper on the baby the best. Let's do this. Just the tip. Hopefully you guys had a great week. And let's see. Let me do this. Maybe Petrified Fish made the Gen 2 Beluga wider to prevent blade peak. Oh, that's possible. That's possible. You guys are so smart. David Stout, what's up? Dina Johnson said, I like the baby. Yeah, the baby Beluga is really comfortable. What's up, David Stout? What's happening? Um, Let's see. You said, Rothmo said, you send them a high quality photo and they send it, send Send it on a tapestry. You can pick the size. Very nice. Custom tapestry. Tapestry. It sounds so fancy. It sounds very fancy. Mr. Fancy Pants. Um, let's see. Let me do something else here. You know, I can zoom way out and show you guys a full-blown view of everything on the table. And that's always fun. Like show you the three knives that were on the channel this week, including the new tuna fish. This bad boy. So we have petrified fish. Now we have tuna fish. And there were some comments. There was at least two comments referring to tuna fish, referring to uh, a girl in high school. So you guys just want to see how big the layout will go? You want to see it? There you go. Look at that. I could just have I just have it all out here. And I'm going to change up the lighting and make some make some changes, some minor changes here and there. And I'll be able to turn up the lights and mess, mess around. This is just a first go at it. Just a first go. But you'll be, you'll be able to see all the stuff that I'm playing with that I have sitting around like the little bitty uh, O light. See? I have all kinds of stuff sitting here. Iggy's a member for five months. Iggy, thank you. Yes, next will be the catfish. Only 48 likes. What? We should have way more than that. Uh, uh, Nick Martino said, how are you liking the blower? Uh, I like it. I've been using it to get all the dust out of my knives. I like it. It works very well. I am so glad that I bought it. And if you're not familiar, he's talking about this thing. Oh, you guys can't see me. <laughs> That's funny. He's talking about this thing. This thing is awesome. It's like, zzz. it's awesome. Tuna fire. So let me see. Let me check out uh, what kind of views. What kind of views can we do here? Yeah, we can do this. And I think the camera works even better in low light, low light situations. But I'll have I'll have it even better hooked up even better next week. <laughs> Top dog said that thing blows. Bumblebee tuna, bumblebee tuna. Excuse me, your balls are showing. <clears throat> oh, Peely McPherson, you got the O light. Very nice. What do you think about that thing? Isn't it cool? I have the O light glowing in the background right there. With the Amera hair. Bumblebee tuna. Thislamic said, when I got my tuna fire, the lockup was non-existent. Had to take some material off the blade for it to lock. G-Ball said, is that an air fun electric? Um, it's not an air fun. Uh, it's a Dora bean. 
there's the brand and it's not electric it is rechargeable and i think it has like 41,000 rpm or something nick martino said i still don't understand why your raven didn't come with the milled clip you know i don't either um a lot of people were like hey i got the one with the mine came with this clip Mine came with the like traditional clip, but well, you know, here, this could be a reason the uh, right now in the link of the, in the description of this video, by the way, all the stuff you're going to see tonight or most of it, there's a link in the description of this live stream where you can go check it out right now. You can just scroll down and click on it and it'll take you to it. Um, I have affiliate links and all that stuff and you can go and check out. I'm doing three things at once here. Um, oh, but see, a lot of these that, that are listed right now, let's see, let's do this. Ta-da! A lot of these that are listed are $70. This, But then this one might be the one that's $56. And that's probably the difference in price is you're paying for the titanium clip. That would that would be my guess. Probably. Todd Carr said, Bees, how long has the lamp been on? Did you test out the longevity? Well, here's the thing. I wanted to leave it on when I went to work, but I also, in the back of my mind, I said, don't do that because you're leaving something that's battery powered on in your home unattended. And that's just wasn't a good idea. I will say I've never recharged it. And I have, re I wish I, you know, it would be nice to have a timer and be able to do it when I'm home and actually time it to see how many hours it actually works. But it has been on for hours and hours and hours and hours. I just don't know because I didn't want to leave it on. I didn't want to leave it on while I was at work. So I had, you know, I had to turn it off. I had to think twice about that one. Top Dog said the tie clip and milled scales is the extra you're paying for in the Raven. I'm not, you're so Raven. This is a sleek one, though. I like the stone wash on it, too. What would you guys, did you like my little funny about, I just can't figure out who the designer is. Because, you know, if I only just could figure out who the designer was. Gee, I wonder who it is. Hmm. Makes me wonder. Hot wings and live at the hive. Ooh, very nice. Hot wings. <laughs> Tree stab and Troy. <laughs> That's an idea. Put the lantern in the oven while you're at work. <laughs> you guys are genius. <laughs> um, then I'll come have it home and there'll be some a mis mishap and I'll have melted plastic in my oven. Um, Prado said, can see the detent ring on that one too. The Havrog has that at will. Yeah, I just noticed that actually when I held it up to the screen. I just noticed that you can see the detent ring right there. I mean, not that it's a big deal. Not that it's a big deal. I Iggy just ordered the tuna fire. She has no self-control. You like the look of the Raven? You know, the Raven, my only complaint is the pocket clip. The, the back of the pocket clip where it hits my hand. That's the only thing that kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. Other than that, it fits. It would be, it would fit so well. And this is something else I've noticed in the back where it's flat right here. When I put the butt of a knife in the back of my palm, if it has a sharp edge, I don't like it. This one, it just sits right on the back of my palm very nicely. So the, the clip is just my, if, it, if I had the milled clip, I bet that would make a difference. Um, I look, I liked the look of the raving until I got it in hand. Okay. Now let's show you. There's the there's the three knives that were on the channel this week. Let me show you. So there's the three knives, and then I'll show you something else here in just a moment. A moment. Listen to me talking all proper. Oh yeah, that um, top dog is throwing up some uh, links for me. Definitely go and get you get yourself a tempest knives. A tempest knives. Get your opinion. All right, let me write this up. Defcon knives.
trying to get this to catch up. Andrew said, my Kaiser Cozy just arrived. Still needs to unpackage it, but wanted to know if you've carried it and how you liked it. Your post on it made me go buy it. Yes, dude. I like it. It's sitting right here. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me do a little share share. Let me back out. Right there. Ta-da. I've carried this quite a bit. I like it. The Kaiser Cozy. Pinions coming in my carta. Yeah. Yeah, so here is the Cozy. This is the all blacked out version. And here is the micarta version. Love this knife. Love it. KC should do a collab with Olight. Make the opinion. <laughs> love it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. So here's the tuna fire. Let me make myself big. <laughs> Here's the here's the tuna fire. Look, this knife costs 20. Oh, matter of fact, there's an automatic like 5% coupon on Amazon. So it costs $25. This is one of those knives that I've passed over on Amazon Amazon a hundred times. And this was donated to the channel to do a giveaway for a giveaway. It has really nice micarta. It's $25. I mean, would you look at it? Just look at it. 25 bucks, the $25 beater, and it looks really nice. Um, it has a reversible, no, it doesn't. This one doesn't. <laughs> I think I started to, or I did say that on my uh, on my my little unboxing video today. If you want to know more about it and, and see more size compares and stuff, make sure you watch the video from today. Hot Tuna, great review today. Thanks, Steve Sweeney. Yeah, check it out. It's a pretty cool knife. I like the blade on it, too. I like that orange and green. The orange and green is very nice. Very, very nice. Kurt Eisen said, I'm looking at it. It's pretty nice. $25. You know, I'm all about I'm all about the budget blades. A lot of us collectors, you know, when you don't really have money. What's up, Brian? Need him? Need him? What's up? Alice, a.k.a. Alicord Paracord, is in the hot. Sharp guy said, I got a large Feldspar for $28 in Jade. What? Really? That's that's very impressive. Very, very impressive. Thank you, Robert Feely. Much appreciated. The how did, How's the tuna reverse flick? It reverse flicks fine. This is kind of the same thing as the beluga. Let me show you. Is it, what kind of view is this going to show? So the beluga kind of, we were talking about it early, earlier. Right here, it covers up covers up the fuller. The only thing about that is that's what this one does. The tunifier has that bump right there. What, what are, what's going on with putting the bump over the fuller? Or not the fuller, but the thumb hole. If this bump was down further, it would be way more enjoyable. The reverse flick is fine. It works great. There's just not a lot of room for air when you go to put your finger there. When I put my finger, my th let's see, when I go like this, when I put my finger, it kind of stops and falls into the into the hole. So it does make it easy. It does pop out very well. It does pop out. Bees is excellent at weight guessing. Kennedy, that was my first thought. Yeah, so it it does work. I just kind of wish that this bump right here was just a little little less that way it didn't why give me a really awesome hole and then kind of fill it in now if you concentrate and commit you can flick it open with you can thumb flick it with your uh with your thumb <laughs> you can thumb flick it with your pinky if you're really coordinated yeah harry right where'd you get a the the feldspar xl or the feldspar hey Paracord said, I am not flame anodizing beads for my paracord stuff. Giggity, 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 goo. So what do you guys think about the addition? And, and look at this. 
and I'm going to change, I'm going to change the view because when I view, when I go out that much, you can't tell what's sitting there. So if I come in like this and the view will be a little better next week with a little better lighting, definitely better lighting. But you, you'll be able to see all the knives that I have sitting out here. And we can, we can talk all about it and I can just show you the, the knife cam. You have the knife cam going on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You have knife cam, baby. Kind of like this view right here. Amazon, 20% off the Feldspar. How about dim apples? So, you know what? I, I went ahead and, and I car caved to Lefty. And I got <clears throat> the Oreo. Let's see. I got the Oreo. There it is. I did it. I went and gone and done it. <clears throat> Sylvia, Sylvia said, live at the Hive. Nice live stream format. Thank you. Speaking of format, let's see. We already did Knives on the channel this week. And we already asked where everybody was watching from. If you're just getting in here, what state, region, or country are you watching from? Are you watching in? Brian Needham said, I just left MC. We are here for your beautiful beard and the kitty. <laughs> Did somebody win a nice knife? We have a knife. We have a knife cam, ladies and gentlemen. We have a knife cam. And I have a knife cam light. Little adjustments here and there, but we'll get it all, we'll get it all worked out. We'll definitely get it worked out. Coast of Maine, Illinois, Las Vegas, Long Island, New York, Dallas, Texas, Central Virginia, Southern California. Brian said, I like the split screen, though. Beaver Creek, Ohio in the house. Crush that like switch. Oh, yeah, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. We do an extra giveaway. We have somebody, Joe Kasperick's here from Mars. Raleigh, North Carolina. Taylorsville, Kentucky. Denver, Colorado. We have a Mainer here. Boy, that raven ain't subtle. <laughs> Craig Hamilton for shipping. Craig. Thank you, Craig. Thank you very much, brother. You know, $9.99. You, you definitely one penny off, one one penny off of $10 here. You get the Amer hair, brother. Where's the red, white, and blue? Here we go. Thank you very much, brother. Very much appreciated. Alaska. Nick Martino's from Alaska. Michigan, San Diego. California, Philadelphia, PA, Lubbock, Texas, Canipa, Texas, Pennsylvania. Dina said, but in Queens at the moment. David Stout, South Texas, super hot here. Yeah, tell me about it. We got UK. Oh, the poor man. We got the UK in the house. We have surprise, 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 Arizona. And Josh Branson's been a member for four months. Josh is in the high. Love the good vibes, my bearded brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. And thank you for the donation. Um, let me see. Um, I was switched. Uh, see, that's something I'm going to have to get used to. I didn't throw up the comments. Let me throw that up before it disappears. The 999s, they stay up a while, so I can go back and find them. If it'll let me. Oh, it better. There it is. Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Long Island representing Romy Turtle, Ohio's in the house. Crystal Lake, Illinois. Man, we have people from all over. Missouri by way of Texas. Boston, Massachusetts. Wow. Loving my Kubi Raven here, Raven here in Minnesota, bees. Very nice, very, very nice. I love this. Kevin Kirk said Yankee in Tennessee. Spokane, Washington, Chicago, Illinois. That is awesome. Josh Branson. Now this is for shipping. DSKFS. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, brother. You are the man. Throwing some honey up in this hive. Keeping the honey flowing. 
Keeping it flowing. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Southside Chinatown. Mr. 2% in Essex now. Ter Mr. 2%, I happen to know, is from Australia. Naf Collector, a little late joining the hive tonight. Had to help a friend with a broken trailer. Very nice. Not as fast as in Virginia. Virginia's in the hive. Indianapolis, the knife cam looks great. Uh, Bob D, the knife junkie, D.C. area, says you owe him a dollar. <laughs> Why do I owe him a dollar? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Michael Upchurch, Bees, what do you think of the Civivi Thug 2? My card is sold out on White Mountain Knives already. Debating on Damascus with your 10% off code or getting my card up. The, we, the Civivi Thug, I... I don't know. I've, I've never handled it. It looks cool. It looks like a cool knife. Oh, look at that. Everyone. Laura's at, oh, she's Casey's neighbor. Yeah, the, the thug. And thank you for being a member for four months, brother. That is much appreciated. Michael Upchurch. The Civivi thug. I mean, dude, I would like to have one. Definitely. So you guys, you guys want to see uh, the table and see, and I figure I can, I can do the whole, I can do the split screen. That way you can see what knives I have out here. And if anybody has a question on one and yes, I did get, got the Oreo. Oh, Kevin made me get an Oreo. It was like 13 bucks. I put a link in the description. If you want to check it out, it has multi row, multi row, uh, not multi row. It has uh what are those bearings? Needle bearings. It has needle bearings and uh, five magnets on the inside. It did come in handy. I was in a meeting at work and I couldn't have a knife out. And I had this out. And you can you can click it. You can make it snap. Or you can do it quietly. B for Baron, $9.99. Thank you, brother. $9.99 up in this hive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Trying to make it show up here. Super sticker for Beaver Bear, nine ninety nine. That's as good as ten dollars. That get, that gets you a a mare hair. Thank you very much, brother. What's up, Ron? Send me top knife, top left knife, please. Cake, okay, thanks. Oh, uh, you're talking about the comet. Talk about that bad boy right there. Yeah. These are really cool. Paul Munko design. That's a cool knife. Very cool. Thank you very much, B for Baron, for keeping the honey flowing. Help me pay for these upgrades to the channel. <laughs> they are not paid, dude. Are not paid for yet. <laughs> I got I got a table and I got the new knife cam. Now all I gotta do is pay for it. Um, Brian Needham, I'm in on the meetup. Oh, yeah. We're talking about meetup. Campfire leather work. Paul Bessemer, you know anywhere near Appleton, Appleton City? What's the second to bottom right? See, that is what I was hoping, is that you you all would be able to see some of the knives that I'm showing, and I could zoom in, I could zoom out. This is why I made the investment. I can We can talk about this. Uh, what, let me see. Second to bottom right. This would be the bottom right. So you're talking about this one. This is the one that was on the channel today. This is the tuna fire. There's the tuna fire. The tuna fire is really cool. And for 25 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. $25. And there, the micarta, I was totally blown away by the micarta. I did not expect it to have texture. I thought it'd be that hard, you know, the Civivi has that micarta that's hard. I said hard. <laughs> Second, for, well, I thought he might've been, I thought he might've been talking about the, uh, you talk about the Raven. I don't know. Give me colors. Give me colors. I can do this too. <laughs> that, that gives you a limited view. You can do that.
Yeah, meetups. I think meetups are a great idea. Amazon Civivi store has titanium pocket clips. Oh, really? That's interesting. That's very interesting. The, did you want to see the Raven? This is the Raven. This was on the channel a couple days ago. Um, I think I I think I disassembled it. It disassembled very well. It was a good disassembly. You can go see see my total thoughts on that bad boy. Get a good look at it. Dwayne Letterman said, got my comet, green my carta. What's up, Stas at 23? Stas is in the hive, ladies and gentlemen. Stas, Stas is the man. You can buy them right from Civivi and Finch, actually. They fit a lot of knives. You know, I need to do that. I need to try more, um, uh, what do you call it, getting... You know, doing some mods, getting some pocket clips, things like that. I definitely need to do that. The Raven all blacked out is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's see. Let me do this. Change the light just a little bit. Yeah, I definitely am going to need. I already know the change that I'm going to make. That way we won't have this dark area next week. But it's cool. It's cool. Totally cool. Getting this all figured out. And I have links to these spinners in the in the description of the video if you're interested in that too. You want to go all the way out? Look at that. We're out there, baby. There's the famous bell. And look what's hanging from it. <laughs> this little thing is so cool. And the magnet on this thing is so, so cool too. Jason said, I know you're by Xenia. Have you ever seen the movie Gummo? No, I have not. Robert Feely, what is what is the bottom one with black scales next to the tuna? Next to the tuna. With this one right here is the new Beg Lighter 2. Top Dog said, Yellow Knife with the B. Where can you buy? You can go to my link, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. There's a link in the description of this live stream right now, and you can go get you a honey. Look at that. A classic. This this is a, uh, a tinker. And then you can also get the little one to put on your keychain. You can get the little one. With the B on it. Really cool graphics, too. Robert Feely said, I have that light and it sticks to everything. Dude, tell me about it. This this is the magnet they put in, in this little iLight Mini. is crazy. It, it literally sticks to everything. It's, it's, it's convenient, but it definitely, it definitely sticks to everything. Here's the big lighter too. Drop. You can't get droppier, droppier, shuttier than that. It drops, drops like nobody's business. Cut the heck out of my finger with the new Kaiser Roach XL black micarta. All right, Rick. Hopefully, you had a, a lot of band band aids handy. Yes, the 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 pinion. I'm gonna see. I have. I'm testing the abilities of my laptop because I have so many things hooked up to it at once. So we'll we'll see how the abilities of my laptop fare. I don't even know if I can handle pulling up Instagram at the same time. But we'll we're gonna go check this out real quick. We'll see what happens. Hopefully everyone in here got in on the Tempest knives on the pinion. And this is what I'm talking about. The pinion. Uh, let's see. Well, I have a lot going on on this screen. Let's see what I can show you. See how I can do this. There we go. There's the pinion. And here's here's the three colors. I got the black one and let's see. I think I got both black ones. One G10. Or no, I, I got the blue and the black G10, I believe. Now I can't even remember. I almost got all three. 
I'm sure Casey would probably prefer I did. I might go ahead and get the third. I would have to look. I don't remember. I think I got the blue and the black micarta, or I might have got the. I don't remember. <laughs> I got two of them though. Thank you for the five doll hairs, Dennis. Denise, Dennis, Dennis Sanford. It's a Bravo. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. If you're going on Instagram, can you check out my post for the newly flame anno beads? Would love feedback, says Alice. Yes, we can do that. So here is the new pinion. Hopefully you guys are going to go get you one. You can go order one right now at Tempest Knives. You can go to Tempest Knives on Instagram or you can go to TempestKnives.com and order you one. The search feature. What the heck? This, the search fe feature on Instagram is just no bueno. If you don't remember exactly how something... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What do I have to type in? Oh, there you... There, Alice, uh, Top Dog just put up a link. Thank you, Top Dog. Thank you very much. Top dog, you the man. Wow, look at that. This is from Alice. Um, let's see. I got to see what I'm sharing here. I'm sharing the wrong screen. Let me show you what I'm what I'm looking. Oh man. Give me just a second. I'll show you. Wow, these are some sweet looking beads. Some sweet looking beads. I'm just sharing everything. Share, share like. Um, here we go. Found it. Found it. Mark Herrera, happy Friday, bees. And sorry, I'm driving right now. Dude, that's cool. I, I do the same thing. A lot of the live streams I get to I drive while while uh, listening. Hope you're driving well. Hope your air works. The air on my truck is going out it went out on me twice and then it came back on and then it went out so i might have to go the rest of this summer sweating it that sucks um not not just yet nate dog we're going getting ready to here in just a minute after we check out these beads from alice um we take that off here okay so check out these beads i'm gonna make it full screen if i can there we go so I'm going to blow, blow it up for you. Those are pretty cool. And yeah, I'll show you that here in a second too. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Pretty, pretty neat. I think they look good. I think you did a good job on them. Definitely. Definitely did a good job on them. Dwayne K, member for nine months, honored to bees in his this family. Thank you, Dwayne K. <laughs> Michael Upchurch says, Bees, do you have a discount for Civivi on Amazon? No, only at the Civivi site. If you go to Civivi site, and they have free shipping. I do have 5% off. That code's down there, too. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you something. Um, let me show you something here. So this is from Alice, a.k.a. Uh, LS said, you can turn on the mini O-Light by slightly pulling it from the base without removing it all the way. I got two this week. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Well, uh, yeah, if it's on a keychain, that I guess that would be easier if it was on a keychain to just slightly pull it away. Oh, okay. It has one click. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. So you can just slightly click it and you don't have to disconnect it. That is cool. Very cool. Um, thank you very much, LS. Very much appreciated, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody's throwing up all the bees hive logos, logos, emojis, 
Emojis? Emojis? And there was something else I was going to show you. My mind, my brain is everywhere. My brain is all over the place. Um, hold on. All right. Are y'all ready? You're going to have to start paying attention to that kind of stuff that's down there. Miller 86 said, has anyone tried the Migron Acri? I know I haven't. Just Nate Dog wants that paracord bracelet. Uh, Peter Miller said, level one up. I got the blue titanium one. Uh, Just Nate Dog, the blue bug out. Uh, Rick Atkins has to go, has an emergency going on. Uh, hugs and kisses for Mama Bees. Thank you, Rick, to go take care of your business. Rick Feely, the Civivi Cedos. Nick Martino said, debt, lots of debt. <laughs> nice, fast said, bees, we need to talk about your second can setup. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. Jay Bean, the 8020.5. Byron Kennedy, off-grid backcountry and all day. Neck fixies and cold, cold steel recon one folder. Will Blake, the Protec Godson today with the leather inlays. NAF collector, my old spider coat police and Swiss Army camo. Tim, the, fin the Finch Fun Drop, Pinya Kickstop Apache, the Victorinox Classic SD Red. Olight I3T and the refined EP1. Kurt Eisen, I got the driver. I won for bees and I love it. That's awesome, dude. Um, Joshua Mosteller has the Civivi Backlash. Zachariah, the Migaron Acri is fantastic. Best front flipper under 50 bucks. Blade took Daniel. I have the Crooked River Large and a Tucson TS16. Michael Morgan, holy Towser, purple micarta bronze hardware. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Reese, the TPK exclusive, Titanium Gray Penguin. Miller 86, We Kite Fit Blue Titanium. Craig, the Lucky 13 Finch. Rob Dunaway, the Blue Titanium Penguin. Dwayne K, Ethan Grow EF950 in Black G10. Prado, the QSP Penguin with Jigged Titanium and M390 Steel from Traditional Pocket Knives. The Axial Shift, the PF Havrog. Canyon Fooey, the Demco 8020. Uh, Slim, Darren Pettigrew, the Tucson TS-223, the TS-223, and the Olight S3R, XDS. Sean Thomas, I'm cleaning the bathroom. My brother-in-law is coming cross-country. What am I missing? We're doing a pocket check at the moment. As evidenced by the screen, I am now putting those so people that are coming to the chat knows what's happening. Jason said the Akron's excellent. Peter Miller rocked his new Purvis Blades Progeny V3 that he got earlier this week. Pam Griffith, I don't have pockets, but there's a den of my car to beluga land beside the bed. Does that count? Yes, that absolutely counts, Pam. Tom Sheehan, the mini sheepdog. Josh Branson, good to see everyone here engaged. Um, Where'd it go? Boy, it jumped. Engaged and active in the chat. Yes, that's what makes this fun. That's what that makes, what makes this so much fun. Garlem has the de de denim comet. Adam, the damn designs, Hades, Titanium, S35VN, Amazeballs. Zadikim, the Kaiser Feist, Blue Denim, Micarta, Black Blade. Alice has the Blowtorch 400 and the Reich Thor. Dennis, uh, the Cormorant and Frag. Kevin, Kevin has the Artisan Immortal. Witness, FTP, has the MMFF Gent. Nice Fast has the Nimble X and a Finch 1929 with Olive Wood. Andrew Garin, Garin, the best tech goblin, all titanium. That's what I'm talking about. Mrs. Freak Show, what's happening? Mrs. Bees will be here in a little bit. The Devo Stout, gee, I wonder. Uh, the Fair and Forge Mini Archbishop and the PM2. Matthew has the Sat 20, 20 years, baby. And the Gonzo 922 Orange. LS, the Civivi Altus. Buttlock with Di Damascus. Ron has the Demco AD 20.5. Ken Faulkner is carrying the Tucson TS223, the Concept Copperhead, and a Penguin. Got to get a Penguin. CB, you know you got to get a Penguin. You have to have a Penguin. CB, the PM2 in the morning, Shaman in the evening, Contigo at supper time. I like that. Top Dog, I got the Camillus Cuda in camo scales. Texiat, the Civivi Elementum, and a Tinker. I tinkered right before the show. <laughs> Zachariah has the Migaron Prayer, the Fair and Forge Prolix, and the Cutco 1882 Bullwhip. 
Michael Morgan has the blink, blink, blink. Thank you, Michael Morgan, for reminding me to blink. Got to keep the contacts working. Craig Hamilton, the Kaiser Critical Mini, and the reverse, the reverse, <laughs> the revised Doman. Dude, that new Doman looks really cool. Jamie, uh, the Gonzo 6720 Black. Pewy McPewerson has the Mini Roach. And it jumped on me. See if I can find it. There we go. Jason, the Kaiser Beg Lighter 2, Gray Micarta with beautiful blue accents. Tony Boombots, the Asher Orion, Griptilian Picket, the Chili, the Chill Pill, hapt, and the Haptic Coin. D. Edelman has the Kaiser Assassin, Red Micarta. Would you look at it? Steve Sweeney, you are techno talented. <laughs> yeah, right. Sean, Sean Thomas has the QSP Penguin. That's what I'm talking about. Anthony Reeder just carried the OKC Rat. Two in the OS in the OS eight and his Kubi Titanium Vagrant is getting sharpened. Ooh, very nice. Matt Harvey, what's up, Matt? The Sin Cut Sidious and the Gonzo FH11. David Stout, no pockets on my PJs. I was off all day. Well, you could be flipping something. What you flipping? Honey Bear, the XM18 Skinny Harpoon Hollow Ground Spear Point and the Spider Co. Spider Co. Ecucci with the J Dizzle Micarta Scales. J Dizzle. Matthew Jeffries. Blink, thank you very much. We do have a blink emoji for uh, channel members. Uh, JB Underground, CRKT Fossil, the knife that got me hooked. I, I like hearing about the knives that got people hooked. Byron Kennedy's talking to Peter Miller. Uh, Tony, small Sabenza S45 in the box. In box elder, my bad. Brand new American, the PM2 S30V, titanium scales. Kev Biker, I carry the latest Raven grow raven grow you tested i'm cheap i carry the latest raven you tested okay so the one that was on the channel this week um paul bessemer the asher picket keith gutterman's the protect sbr the essay essay azula and the Kinnick, conic Kinnick tp9 elite sc matthew tech dog the smith and wesson benji the nipix cobra xs Four inch and the Victorinox Swiss tool. I'm getting me one of those Swiss tools. Todd Carr, the Gerber Dime, the Reg P105 Fang, and the Civivi Elementum stayed at home today. I was going to say, dude, that was a short sentence. Still a very respectable carry at home. Carolina Panthers fan has the Kaiser Roach. Rothmo's the SOG Terminus XRLTE. Andre Quartz, the Leatherman Wingman, and a Spider Co. Resilience. Yeah. Alice, bees. That's exactly how it sounded, too. <laughs> Steve Steve Sweeney wants a roach. Thank you, Top Dog, for the emojis. I need blinker fluid. Uh, Dwayne Letterman, the Kaiser Co uh, Comet Green, and the Kaiser Guru just got from Thrasher, got from Brandon Thrasher. Uh, let's see. Well, who did I miss? Zan. There we go. I love knives. The Zan, but a rat one at work. Fluffy Delgado is the element of button lock with Damascus and carbon fiber. Put one of those tie clips on and it looks great. Tree Stabber Troy. What's up, brother? Black Jig Titanium M390 Penguin. All you folks rocking that fancy penguin. Little rich for my blood. Dwayne Case said, I want to say hello to anyone I've missed. I'm trying to keep up. Just turned 55 on the 19th, but I feel 75. Happy birthday, Dwayne K. Drewby Tunes, the Orion Solaris. Very nice. I had that one out today. Mike Jernag, the Kaiser Original, Silent Black Disc, the Best Tech Titan in Red, the Tucson TS-154, designed by Jelly Jerry, Axiom Ocularis, Slingshot with Clay Ammunition. Um, what's up, Knife Standards? I Iggy, pocket check, yeah, okay. Iggy, Penguin, the Penguin, Asher Picket, Leatherman Squirt, Dapper Designs Ion Flashlight, G43, pew pew, a refined bolt action pin, a Jack Salon's worry stone, and a Hank, and a 3D printed magnet fidget toy. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Nice standards. I'm carrying the Rough Rider today. I think that's what the RR stands for. Alpha 3 has the TRM Adam. Josh Branson, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works Arctic Storm Parrot 2. Ooh, I wanted that one. And M4 and the Blade HQ 940 and freshly dyed JG10 and M4. A baton three and a force tank, as always. What's up, Josh? Joe, the Buck Huxby Baby Banner Phoenix LD30. And Dwayne K said, does anyone see the new Civivi Titanium Butt Lock at 20 CV? I think. Peter Miller is talking to Byron Kennedy. He said he's only ever owned a Zerks from his 
from him previously. Uh, Adam Adam has the Asher Knives Douglas. Top Dog said 20 CV. No, have not seen it, Dwayne. I think we're getting caught up. Bluminati Ninja, the CRKT Provoke, the CJRB Mylea, CJRB Ruffian, the best tech operator all earlier. Now just flipping the sweet Wee Knives 617F. I won from Thrasher and got in the mail today. Very nice. Kev Biker, the Ifagro, I meant to say. Gotcha. Dwayne K, Buttonlock Elementum. I forgot that. Titanium. You have that already? Wow, nice. Steve Sweeney, have you ever reviewed a Randall knife from Orlando, Florida? I have not. Chris, the Blade HQ exclusive concept, concept Fenrir. I think I'm going to be having the Fenrir on the channel very soon. Oh, speaking of which, uh, it's not a spoiler alert because I'm not telling you, but I have uh, two new knives going to be on the channel in the next week that haven't been released yet. I know one hasn't been released. I think both of them haven't been released. We've got a bunch of new stuff coming. Some nicer ones, some mid ones. I do a lot of budget. I always have to sprinkle the budget ones in there. I have some new Releases from the budget lines, too. You guys hang tight because I have a lot to show you. Uh, Sean has, he said he's keeping it light with the Dragonfly 2 Warncliffe. Love me a Warncliffe. Love me a Warncliffe. Oh, let's see. Um, who did I miss? It jumped on me. I'll find it. I'll find it. Horror movie, the QSP Penguin and his cat Kaiser Towser K in Black Micarta and his Sofern SC31 Pro. What's up, Chuck it? Chuck it said the hive is buzzing up in here. Black Copper Towser K, the Manix 2 XL, and the Micarta smock. Love that smock. Richard has the Leatherman Leatherman free P4. Um, trying to make sure I don't miss any, but Zachariah, anyone looking for a Thor six by Reich white mountain knives has three different colorways available. Such a interesting looking knife. Arky 407, the Olight baton pro 2k lumen. Wow. I love a 2000 lumen Kubi Drake KB 310 and M 390 and cheap purple scales and the wee banner in carbon fiber knife standards are our standard. My design. If you want to check out the proto, I'll send one your way. Yeah, uh, send me an email, broham, uh, beesblades at gmail.com. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I love knives said, I've been playing with the Fox Tour 1 I won. Fox Tour I won from Thrasher. Landon Waller, the Mini Adamus Limited Edition. Very nice. Or, I'm sorry, Adamus. That's according to the to the designer. It's Adamus. Um, all right. Did I finally catch up hey sean sean michael beezer m8 come up to canton i buy you a pint or two or 15 i promise not to take your edc <laughs> canton ohio's in the house in the hive kurt eisen so bees what's the oldest blade you own um that's a good question it's probably it's probably my big bowie knife that's probably maybe i don't know I might have something older. I don't know that I do. I think my Bowie knife from my grandpa is the oldest one I have. Um, and you can go go on Instagram to Alice, a.k.a. Alicord Paracord, and get you uh, some awesome stuff. She, she We were showing her uh, anodized beads earlier. And I wonder if I turn the light down, if it will automatically adjust and turn the light up. Ha! Huh, interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll definitely get the, the lighting worked out a little better for the uh, the knife cam. All right, let me move down here, and we'll move to the next section here. Grandpa's Bowie. Bees, you ever think about think more about everyone sharing first knife stories? I'm writing it down. All right, let me see what I have next next in light on my topics here. So this oh, no wonder it doesn't look bright because I have the brightness on my uh laptop turned down. <laughs> oh jeez. Ah oh, jeez, would you look at this? Okay. 
Um, so these, th this, this, and this were the ones on the channel. I have a, I have too many showing at once. I don't know. You guys like seeing the, the bigger view or the smaller view? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Let's let's drag this over here and take a look. So here we have a fidget spinner. We have another fidget spinner. I have links to both of those in the description. I have links to all of this stuff. This was on the knives that, on the channel this week. This is the Kubi Raven. This is the new Tonto. The new Beluga. The Beluga Tonto. And then we have the Cozy. And I was thinking about doing something for the for the channel members using my my air my compressed air thing to see how long this one will spin. That that would be interesting. Kurt Eisen said, my oldest knife is a manual Italian stiletto with a five-inch blade I bought from a pawn shop back in 1977 when I was five years old. Wow. Vu fam's in the hive. What's up, Vu? All right, let me see what I have ne next on our... Uh... Now, the TF... The what did you all think about the TS Prof? This thing is an amazing piece of machinery. It is, it's expensive, but I think that if you buy one of these, you'll never need another sharpener the rest of your life. That's just my opinion. That is how well this thing is made. It is an absolute work of art. This thing is absolute. If you didn't see my video on this, and you say it's too expensive, I might, it might change your mind or may, may think, may, maybe make you put an envelope aside to save up for one of these. Because I, I mean, after having, I have the WorkSharp Precision Pro, or no, not Pro, the WorkSharp Precision Adjust. And after using that and going from this, had I known that, that the quality and the ease of adjustment was so good as, this thing is just absolutely fantastic. It is made so well. Oh my goodness. And then I have this. This is what I keep my stones in from Lancelot Leather. Let me back out here for you. And no, if you're if you're asking me questions at the moment, I can only do a couple things at once. I'll try to get back to them. But this is what I keep my stones. I have a marker, I have that for adjusting or tightening. I have the stones that came with the TS Prof in here from Lancelot. Love this thing. Love it. Dude, the, the TS Prof is, and I do have a link in the description if anyone wants to go look at it. I'm not saying go buy it, but I will say that if there's something you save up for, if you plan on collecting knives and having knives the rest of your life, this thing is just amazing. It takes so much of the work out of trying to hold the base still and not have something move and not have it sway or bend. If you're going to collect knives or have knives the rest of your, your life, this, this, this thing is a keeper and you can put any size stone on it. It is amazing and it is so smooth. Wow, it is awesome. Uh, this one costs like five hundo. They have other ones that are cheaper, but now, now that I know what I know, and after using this for I don't know three, four months, now that I know what I know, and I've sharpened quite a few knives with it. Oh my gosh, this thing is just—it's a beast. It doesn't flop around. It weighs like three, three point six pounds. It is solid. It does not move. It's not going anywhere. CB said your video of that device was excellent. Very thorough. Brand new user would be able to put it to ease, put it to use easily with the, with that video as a work along. Yeah. I wished the video that I made, I made that specifically because I answered questions that weren't easily answered by me watching other YouTube videos. I watched other videos trying to figure it out and I finally gave up and just had to figure it out myself. And that's why it took me a while to do a video on it. Kurt Eisen said you can get a decent strop kit from eBay for 10 bucks. You have to glue it to the board yourself. Yeah. And that's not bad to do either. TS prof giveaway. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no. 
I don't, as Mrs. Bees would say, I don't shink show. This this thing is awesome. And here's something else that I got this week because I I use headlamps a lot. Let me clear off the table or do a little organizing here. We're getting a little get a little, little disheveled. My my uh, table gets very very uh, busy quickly. This this right here is this O light is a headlamp, but you can remove the light. Check that out. It has really nice straps on it. And it's magnetic and the light goes sideways. Let me show you up here. Look at that. It has the sensor right here, so it won't catch anything on fire. It'll step down with that sensor, but the light is sideways. It's like that. So you can set it down and it's shining in front of you. I really like this thing. And I use headlamps a lot. Like when I, when I, when I make my videos in case, in case you don't know, you'll see me on, you'll see me unbox the video, unbox the knife, which now I, I take it out of the box and then I just set it down in the plastic and then I start the video. You guys, unless it's a special box, you guys don't need to see me open up and show you an empty box with some silic silicone in it. Right. Um, Chuck it. This thing is awesome, dude. Let me give you an up close here. It's the Pirin. It's the Pirin 2. And when I, when I start to make my videos, after I show you all the knives, I hit pause. And then I go and I sit on the other side of the table for however long. And I take all the measurements. I do the measurements until I know they are exact. So when you get my specs, none of my specs are from the factory or from whatever website it came from. Because I don't trust any of them. They're, I mean, I'm just specific like that. I've always been like that since I started the channel. So if you want the specs exactly, get my specs and you could trust that those are exactly what they are. Yeah, the, this thing is awesome. I love it. What up, David Bell? Said, what up, Bees Hive? Hope everyone has a good day and continues to have a good night. Uh, the Bees Squeeze is always on point. <laughs> What's up, Voo fam? Yeah, so check this out. So it's a, uh, you can use it as a headlamp. You can put it wherever you want it. But then if you just want to use it as a regular light, you can take it out of this holder. Let me pop up some light. So that's what it looks like. This thing is so cool. The Pirin 2. And it was on sale on uh, on Olight store. It was on sale. And I, I this is what I got. My, bro my mom said, what can I get your brother for Christmas? And this is my brother. He's like me. He uses headlamps all the time. My brother got this one. And I was like, you know what? I, I have to have one. <laughs> so now I have one. And I'm very happy I do. This thing is cool. And like I was saying earlier, in case you just got in here, see that spot right there? That little uh, right there? That's a sensor. And it knows if it's too close to something and it'll ramp down so it won't cause a fire. Stasa, there you go. He's he uh, he measures everything out himself too. Yeah, because here let me uh, let me go over here. There we go. Yes, you're you're right, Stasa. They they are wrong so often. Like for instance, if you go to let me pull this up here. If you go to a website, say you go to Knife Center. And you look at their specs on a knife. Me personally, if I look at the specs on a knife, so if I look at Stas's specs, in my mind, if you tell me the specs and the blade shape and everything, I can picture the knife. And I know a lot about it just from those specs. But the thing is, if you go to Knife Center and look at specs, and then you go to Blade HQ and look at specs, and you go to White Mountain Knives and look at specs, and then you go to the manufacturer and look at specs, They'll all be, they'll all differentiate. And I can't tell you how many times specs from the manufacturer, like, you know, CJRB or whatever, you go to their site and it'll say whatever blade stock thickness or something. And I'll get mine and I'll be like, it's not even close. Or, or, you know, I've, I've been to Blade HQ and they'll list, they'll list a knife and under item, it'll say flashlight. I'm like, it's a knife. So <laughs> I don't, you know, I, 
I know it's probably very difficult for whoever does that to do it all the time. And I don't know that anyone actually takes the time to measure them out. They're like, ah, uh, it's 120 thousandths. So if you watch one of my videos and you see my specs, those are all mine from the very beginning, from the very first video. The only time I've le ever listed specs that weren't mine, um, I would say so. And then maybe two videos on, on knives that's, that were prototypes. So my specs wouldn't have mattered. Like when I showed Casey, when I showed the, the pinion, the Tempest Knives pinion, I listed the specs that it's going to be. I didn't bother measuring it because I knew that I had a prototype and that's not exactly what the knife is going to be. Definitely everyone go, if you for some reason you haven't, you haven't uh, subscribed to Stasa23, go subscribe. He has an awesome channel. He has an awesome channel. Oh, and he tagged me. He, he made work for me. Dude. Now that's another video I have to make <laughs> uh, and I'll create an awesome knife collection for less than 500 bucks. And I I've been talking. So every once in a while I am going to talk and I'll miss comments, but a lot of times I don't complete a thought because I read the comments and you know me, I corner. So yeah, this peer in two is cool. And I do, I am an affiliate to Olight, so you can go check that out. This thing is sweet, and I have a couple things to unbox. One knife at a time, sweet Steve Sweeney said. Grateful Panic, we about to start a swarm up in this mug. What's up, John? What's up, brother? So there's there's the Pyrin 2, and let me do this. Do a little zoomy zoom, and I can also use the knife cam to do this and get up on exactly what we're talking about and do that. Or I can back her out and just show you the knives that were on the channel this week. I can get all the way up in its business. Let's see, where's the knives that were on the the, Ru, the Raven, the Kubi, the Kubi Raven, Petrified Fish Tonto. Let's lay it out so you can see it. And then I'll lay a bunch of knives out and we'll do QA here. And that's one of the segments we're going to do. Keep it segmented, baby. Where's the third one? There it is. And the Tuna Fire. Tuna fire is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely will have better lighting next week. But you could still you could still tell what these are. I'm going to do a switcherooski. How about that? We'll do that there. Get a bit of, better light on the tuna fire. There you go. There you go. What's up, Mattis Faction? PF Tonto is cool. I like mine. The blade shape makes me giggle. <laughs> Voo fam, you make me giggle. You are funny, dude. Um, let me look at something here. Thank you. A special thank you to all my channel members and patrons and subscribers, channel members and patrons. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and making this happen. You are the reason that this is all happening. I very careful what I do with your support. And this is one of the things I did with your support. We now have a tabletop knife camera. I've wanted this for a long time. I've wanted, I've liked the concept and I have another something else that next week, an addition that I put on the credit card that I just, I, I want the live streams to be special. I want it to be fun because this is our one chance a week to have a, a blast. Scott in. Yes, he does amuse me. He amuses me. Um, So let me do something here. You all chat amongst yourselves while I pull something up. Um, Let's see how I'm going to do this. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Y'all give me just a moment. Do a little chat ski amongst yourselves while I pull something up. And while I'm doing that, what I can do is, let's see. Wow, I have a lot going on. <laughs> I'll give you guys a full... Full view. There you go. And I'll back it out. This see, this is a this is a nice learning process. I can do this and let you guys see some knives, a little bit of knife vision. Like when I when I go to another screen to do something, I can do this and let you look at some pretty knives and a Savivi thing and the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. A couple fidget spinners and the Oreo fidget coin. 
while I go over here and pull something up. And get a drink of pop. Got to have me some pop. Um, hopefully I can pause this thing that's coming up here. Do, 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 pulling something up. Um, we're about to do something. I love having all these multiple things. All right, so I know that was a bit of quiet, but now I'm going to do something as soon as I find it. Um, dun, 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 dun. We got banners, baby. We're getting all fancy up in here. And now I lost, I lost everyone's comments. <laughs> there they are. Found them. You can, you can tell from your northern state because you call it pop. Yep. So to pop, time to do some sketchy. <laughs> uh, Pan, Panda said, next you should smile and have a great weekend, I Iggy. All right. So I'm going to share something with you guys ready to see this. Um, let me do this. This is what's going on right now. Let me show you what's going to be in it. Um. All right, so I have a prize pack here. Let me show you what's in this prize pack. Kurt Eisen said my mother was from Ohio. Chris S. said Bees Hive banners. Uh-oh, uh-oh, got banners. So this was donated by a Hive member. This is going to be the knife. Let me show you the swag pack that I put together for this little giveaway. Oh, boy, we're heavy on the swag. All right, first of all, you're going to get a little uh, tri-state tri -state sticker, a bottle of KPL, um, KPL Ultralight, brand new bottle of KPL, baby. That's what I'm talking about. A Kaiser uh, keychain thingy, clip thingy. And here, let me run through the swag real fast. Okay, here's the swag. You get OCD for EDC. Get a Bee's Blade sticker, a huge Smoky Mountain Knife Work sticker, Lancelot Leather, better than cardboard, fancy bearded gear sticker, it's all shagadelic, a uh, Civivi Elementum sticker, a Mojave Outdoor sticker, get this big old K-Bar, look at that, that was donated from Top Dog, get a Dessert Warrior sticker, get a mermaid sticker, you get a bees hive sticker, courtesy of Blade HQ, you get a nice sticker, courtesy of Blade HQ, a wee knife sticker, yeah, you can cover your whole toolbox, a top dog sticker, look at that, freedom, baby, a shed knife sticker, a bees blades Bob Burger's new improved big sticker, they're big now, and a Mrs. Bees, a queen bee sticker, and just look at it. Would you look at it? On my card of sticker from Bees Blades. Let me put those in the bag and I'll show you the knife. Yeah, it's a bunch of stickers. You can cover your whole toolbox, tackle box, whatever you want to put them on. Your bed frame. I don't know. Whatever you want to put them on. The knife that's in this. Let me show you that. Um, let me open this knife up. Very carefully, so I don't mess up the box. And just so you know, some of the knives that we're going to unbox this week, uh, you're going to see the boxes because we have some Primo knives with nice packaging. Just saying. Andrew said, I love stickers. I put them all over my motorcycle helmet. Oh, that's cool. Passion, pride, and performance, baby. This is one of my faves. And it has a removable flipper tab. What is it? 
<laughs> it's very slicey. It's fun to use. And you can remove the flipper tab if you don't like it. You can reverse flick it. it has an excellent detent. Listen to this. Pow, right in the kisser. Sticker for days. You ready for this? It's the Kaiser Horn. Look at that. This thing is awesome. It comes, look at that. I just took it out of the box and it's almost completely fall shutting. It is one of the snappiest, funnest knives to have. The micarta feels, feels amazing. People call it the bacon micarta. It has great texture. Uh, where's my little baby light? See, it's probably stuck to something. <laughs> I don't know where my baby light is. It's sticking to something somewhere. What do I do with my baby light? I don't know what it's stuck to at the moment. But here's a look at this micarta. Look at the texture on that. Is that not cool? Yeah, baby. You got bacon. Yeah, it has a nice hole. It's very nice, very reverse flickable. So we are about to draw and see who's going to win all of this stuff. Now, here's the caveat. The person's name that I draw has to be in the live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Bees is in the hive. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> Surprise. Hello, everyone. Did you forget this upstairs? No. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Oh. Yes, I did. Remind me to show that to him. Okie dokie. So I'm getting ready to do a surprise giveaway. A surprise. Mrs. Bees is in the hive. People are liking the banners. It lets people know what's going know what's going on. Lola, la, la, la. <laughs> Words. So this is the first giveaway. First one. The very first one. You made it just in time. Just in time. Okay, let me put this over here. <laughs> And share my screen. Are you guys ready? This is for people that commented on a particular video. And you have to be live for this win. So when I draw your name, if you're here, say something. Bluminati Ninja. Thank you, brother. Ten doll hairs up in this hive. Supporting the bees hive. Thank you, brother. Hi, Panda. Panda, Panda, Panda. Panda, Panda, Panda. Hi, Iggy. Thank you, Bluminati Ninja Man. You, you are kicking some serious tail. I really appreciate everyone that supports the Bees Hive. I'm putting your money to work. That's why we have the the knife cam. That everyone has been enjoying the knife cam tonight. Oh, that's good. Yes, um, I've, I've had what I was telling you about how people can point out if they want to see something. Yeah, they've already done it. Ooh. We've I've had people like, hey, what's the second one from the bottom, or what's that one? Hey, doing cake. I do need to work on my lighting though, because it's dark on this end. I'm gonna move this above it. Yeah. Because it's dark back here. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Hi, top dog. Top dog, top dog, top diggity dog. Oh yeah, you can talk while I do this. Talking. I have Mrs. B's in the hive. Hey Tony. Tony. Iggy likes the night cam. Well, Hi, Nick. How are you this evening? Hi, Robert Feely. Sam Williams says, how do I enter? Um. Oh, yeah. Let me put that back up. LS says, where's my Bentley cam? <laughs> that's, that's, that's on here, too. Hi, Mike. Well, hello, Vu fam. There's going to be more than one giveaway. The giveaway that I'm going to do right now <laughs> is for people that comment it, comment on my videos during the week or last week or whenever, and I will pick a random video and I will do a random comment, and that's what we're doing right now. Josh Branson says, "Miss B sounds like she's all jacked up on Mountain Dew." I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Hi, one minute knife review. I was going to say, Chibachinos came down with me, but he got stuck halfway down. Oh, he is stuck halfway down. We'll, we'll uh, show him after we do this. Well, that's if he comes over. All right. 
All right, here we go. Here we schmo. Here we schmo. Are you ready? We're going to pick a winner. Winner, winner of the chicken dinner variety. <gasps> Start oh, raffle and pick a winner. Water's cold. All right, let's see who it is. And you must be live to win. So if you're not here right now, sorry. If you're watching this after the fact, I'm sorry. But this one is for people that are at the live stream. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Terrence Cord. You are the winner. Terrence Cord. Terrence. For the Kaiser Horn. Josh Branson said, I... Officially got inducted into the Dalica Club yesterday. Oh, the Dalica Club. It's a very special club. Congratulations, Terrence. Terrence Cord is in the hive. Very nice win. Don't forget, email me, beesblades at gmail.com. And thank you for commenting on my TS Prof Blitz Pro knife sharpening video. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and for supporting that video thank winner, you very much winner chicken chris dinner. wishes his name was terrence don't C we all congratulations terrence oh man why do you have to come over when i just got comfy this table is cold um and let's see i have something else to show you guys um my egghead t-shirt um yeah, yeah. let's see where is it where is it where is it where is it hey, where's your egghead t-shirt <sighs> why is my screen so weird why is your face so weird why is my face so weird i don't know uh -oh. why my screen looks like we got this. a runner we got a truck stop i don't know what happened to my screen i can't see Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. kitty. Oh, the kitty kitty. Ooh, I got a cat hair in my nose. Oh, the kitty. It's the chonker kitty. The chunkachino. Oh, the kitty. Oh, the kitty kitty. What's up, Denny? Denny said you can start now. I'm here. Tree stab and Troy. Hashtag pet Bentley. Yep. Bentley must no. He weighs a little more than twenty pounds, actually. Yeah, he is zesty tonight. Yeah, he's he's feeling zesty. He's a big kitty, the big kitty. Hey, Mrs. Freak Show. Oh yeah, Mrs. Freak Show's in here. I know. I just saw her name and I said hi. Oh, the kitty. Oh, the kitty, kitty. Dennis said, what is your dream knife? I don't know. I don't. Oh, huh. I don't know. There's a good. I don't know that. I, I don't have a dream knife currently. What's up, Delilah Rose? That's not a cat. This is a cat. That's not a cat. That's a chonker. It's a chonker kitty. Oh, the kitty. Yeah, I don't have a dream knife. There's a couple knives that I'd like to have, but I don't have like a, what do you call it? A, a grail. At the moment. I don't know. Matt Harvey says, Bentley cam with a wide angle lens. <laughs> Panda said, look, it's a cat shaped buffalo. <laughs> he tried to have a kitty on the on the screen the other night, but kitty didn't want any want anything to do with it. Oh to get a kitty. Oh my gosh, Zachariah had had a cat. My great aunt had a cat that weighed 34 pounds. Oh my gosh. Hi, Douglas. Wow. What's up, Douglas? Yep, Hi, better Chris. late than next. Never. Hey, Chris Hole is in the house. What's up, Chris Hole? It's all right, man. You made it. That's all that matters. D. Edelman said, Queen Bee pocket check. Uh, Let's see. What did I have today? I don't know. There's the Kaiser Towser K. Ooh, you got to be careful. The table is slippery. Uh, I carried my nimble and oh, snap crackle. I also had what Ooh, else did I? Kitty have? was down. Oh, what other objects? I think that's all I had today. Classic SD. You always have one. Oh on yeah, you. I always have that. Just the two. I had like three on me the other day. I should have taken a picture, but I didn't. 
What is this? That's the Kaiser Towser K in Black Micarta. Not too hateful. Yeah, it's uh, something weird. Canuck says, bees, every time you say kitty kitty, my cat ears perk up and looks at me holding the tablet. Yeah. Uh, kitty. It's weird on my fingers. The Towser K does? Yeah. It's like the, the boop, 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 this part. Yeah. It's like at a weird boop, boop. Oh, the beep boop doesn't fit your hand well? Yeah, the beep boop doesn't fit my hand well. And if you want to know what a beep boop is. Oh, yeah, we now have room. Look at this. But what screen are you on? You're on the table screen. So you can tap this and it'll go to full screen. So the beep boop is the beep boop. Beep boop. Hold it up a little further. There you go. Uh, the beep boop. Yeah, so the force. Beep boop. That's one of the things where they force your hand. If your hand is a certain way. It, a knife may not work for you as well. I mean, it's not hateful. It's just, it's you, actually more comfortable in my left hand. Yep. Look at this. She's thinking. She's thinking. She's doing what I do. There's, see, you guys have seen it on my videos. There's a lot of knives that I can close faster and easier with my left hand because the liner lock is just right there where my thumb is. Well, why does it fit better in my left than my right? Is it because the pocket clip maybe? Uh, or the way it's angled? Well, see, she's big on she's big on pocket clips being warm spots. Show me what you're talking about. Not warm spots, a hot hot spots. spots. But it doesn't yeah, really look, look at all this room we have. It now. doesn't hit me in a weird spot though. Like this pocket clip is comfortable. Oh well, it's not that. No, Maybe... I'm just saying. I wonder if it's because the pocket clip hits my right hand, so the beep boop sits weird. Oh. Whereas in my left hand, there's no pocket clip, so it sits. I see what you're saying. Flush. I see what you're saying. You know all that. Wordy jazz. My now. money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. <laughs> I was listening to Spotify at work the other day and that song came on. <laughs> it was real weird. You know. Six foot two in a compact. Did you find your mini O light? It's bothering oh. horror movie. Oh, thank you. Um, so my little it's red. I it's stuck to something somewhere. <laughs> Top dog says. Beep boop. Long live the beep boop. <laughs> my, my little O light is stuck to something somewhere. It's red. I don't know. I literally don't know where it went. It's a tiny little red light. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't see it. I think you're making it up. I don't either. I don't think you ever had one. Yeah, I had it stuck to a knife earlier. Well, Not on purpose, but. Are you sure? I literally. I, I don't know where. Ah, <laughs> It's stuck to the bottom. <laughs> this thing. Oh, that's tiny. Yeah. Let's that's what she said. Little. This little thing, it will stick to anything. The little iMini. This thing is really cool, but I'm telling you what, if it's not connected to your uh, keychain. Oh, and I love, somebody pointed out earlier, when it's on your keychain, you don't have to pull it all the way out. You can just pull it out a half a notch and the light turns on. I look directly at that. I will be. These were four ninety nine at Olight. If they if the price went up, you can use my code bees ten at Olight plus my affiliate code in the in the description. I met we miss uh, Stacy Bolster Blades throwing up the link. So if you need a link in the description, of this video is all are all of my links. So if there's any super moderators out there, um, Grateful Panic said beep boop is what you say when Betty won't go out your way. Betty beep boop. Robert Feely said, I got the mini because of your review, Bees Blades. Yeah, dude. This little thing is so cool. It, it really is. Zachariah, Scout Bees. He said, look up the custom. Thank you for uh, becoming a Scout PB, brother. He said, look up the custom knife factory capitalist. It will become your grail. Uh oh. The custom. Knife factory, not capitalist. I, think I need to raise my chair. Um, let's see. I'm looking up the capitalist. Budget Blade Review says my son heard Queen B and wanted to paint my nails for me. LOL. Who said that? Uh, Budget Blade. Mm. Hey, do it to it. Mountain, do it. But are you gonna do it 
as a B or what color are you going for? Bright colors, dull colors, different color on every finger. Man. <laughs> Panda says bees, you can massacre a joke. So they have, oh, I, I know what's going on. I'm trying to show this. Top Dog says more dad jokes, please. Oh, yeah, I love me some dad jokes. What joke did I tell you the other day? I can't remember. That was a good one, though. Huh. Budget, well, Budget Blade says he likes to paint, put black on my left hand and white on my right. Why not mix it up and go opposite or every other? You know, spice it up a bit. Will B, member for five months. Hope everyone is well this Friday night. Dude, Will, thank you very much for supporting the Hive, man, and being a Bees Hive member. Thank you very much, Will, Dwayne fellow Kate. Ohio and fellow Buckeye. Dwayne Kate says, uh, the Black Blade Deviant caught my eye. Might be my next favorite. The Black Blade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Deviant is a sweet one. Love me some deviant. So here's the custom night factory uh, knife. We'll check this out real quick. Uh, let's see. We'll give you a full screen view. And I'm going to have to zoom in on it. Wow, that is a nice looking blade. That hey, is satisfaction. A satisfaction. Satisfaction. Oh, Random thought of the night. Man, that is a nice looking knife. You're a nice looking knife. You're at, oh, $640. <laughs> Holy goats. Uh, uh, yeah. That, that's a little, that's a little out of my, my blood, out of, out of my price range. Oh boy. That give is him, a sweet looking knife. Give him time budget. He'll get those patterns down. They're going to be super cool. And everyone's going to be like, Hey, where'd you get your nails done? And be like, mm, my kid did it. You know, <laughs> there we go and if you see a knife in the knife cam that you want to see you can let me know if you have a question about it and i'm not sure if that that view is uh super my, duper for you my section says treat yourself treat yourself <laughs> <laughs> that's an expensive treat yourself. treat yourself 640 dollars uh no Iggy said, where are my shirts, Matisfaction? I told my sons, and they want them, too. Do Steve they? Sweeney said, he's an, an enabler. Uh, does Matisfaction shirts have a giant lightning bug on it? Or a giant keister? Being chased by a squirrel. Yep. That would be fun. Chris S. said, old school Swiss Army, please. How about, how about a new school Swiss <laughs> Army? <laughs> What are you laughing with, Cher? Great old Panda says, anybody know the difference between deer nuts and deer nuts? Beer nuts are 275 and deer nuts are under a buck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. There's your Swiss Army knife. So here is the Oreo, the fidget coin. And this did come in handy the other day for me. I was in a meeting and I wanted to fidget with something because it was a very, very boring meeting. And you could, you could click this louder if you want, or you can, you can do it quiet. You don't have to make it snap. And I think these are like 15 bucks. There's a link in the video's description. And I'm going to have to get Mrs. B's a computer so she can start sharing links during the, the live streams. You know what? I can't or she has a computer. Can't do everything for you. Well, I mean, we are a team. Are we? Though? Yeah. I'm just your note reader. <laughs> Shark guy said, "Maddie will be introducing the Keister Cam next week." <laughs> the Keister Cam. You. <laughs> Michael Morgan said, "That's the Bruce Lee knife." Yes, right here. Uh, Stephen Arnold says, "What's the black knife at the top right?" Top right, this is the Kaiser Cozy. It's a very comfy cozy. There's the Kaiser Cozy. Trees, All blacked out. 
True seven choices. Never giving my money to the school cross country team again. They just take your money and run. <laughs> What's the far left? What's on the far left? Chris asked. Um, let's see. I can do Ew. this. Steve Sweeney says, what's the difference between a rectal and an oral thermometer? What? The taste. Oh, God. Ew. Oh. They said the one on the left. No. Chris S. said you're a teen when she's not napping. <laughs> they thought you were sleeping on the last one. Keister Cam. I sleep and uh, win. Earlier? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Here's the Bruce Lee knife. I got a cat hair stuck to my nose or my glasses. Wow. Would you just look at that funness? Yeah, we you're allowed to have fun. Every once in a while we get a you know a comment on a knife and someone's making all of this, all of these observations and saying all these things about a $25 knife. And I'm like, it's a $25 knife. Twang Fang wants to know. What does he want to know? Uh, do you have the mini roach? The mini roach. Yes, you can go watch my video and I show two of them. And I'm pretty sure I think I... Two. <laughs> and I think I show a... Uh, by the way, if you want to see... If you want to see if I have a video on a knife, you can go to the top of the channel. And I'm going to show you all... I'm going to show you all this right now. Two Seven Choice says, Pizza check. Pizza check. What, what kind of pizza did you have tonight? Uh, we had Hawaiian pizza, and it had Extra ham, cheese. sausage, pepperoni? No. Well, I don't know. What did it have on it? What makes a Hawaiian pizza Hawaiian? It had pineapple. Thank you. But what was the other stuff? You didn't say pineapple. You said Well, ham. I said it was Hawaiian. Doesn't you that imply? Ham, sausage, or pepperoni. I mean, doesn't that imply that it was a it pineapple? Had, you didn't, <laughs> it had ham, bacon, and pineapple. <laughs> Ham, bacon, and pineapple. <laughs> then there's that's a door pepperoni. Nerd. Nerd. So here, um, you know what? I had I have the green one also. The green one's over there in a case. I had the green one out today. I was gonna let my son borrow it and he, he wanted to borrow something different. Is that the one that's on my uh my side of the table upstairs? Uh it might be. The it's, jade color. He said mini roach, right? Yes. Mini roach. Yep, there's the mini roach with the with the bees hive on it. This is the I removed the flipper on this one. The other one I have the flipper on, so I can experience both. So let me let me show y'all something. Showing things. I can show you a pencil. No, I can't. Oh, I don't have a pencil. Hey, you got my pencil out tonight. Yep, I got your pencil out. I guess I technically don't need it if we don't play the number game though. Black olives, onion, and ham. I will take the black olives and ham minus the onions. Gross. So let me sh let me show you all this. If you ever want, can can you see my uh, can you see the, my pointer? Are you asking me? Yes. My screen is always behind, but uh... okay. So here's Bees Blades channel, right? No, that's my channel. That's not yours. So. If you go to Bees Blades and you look and you, this is all you see is th is these five videos, I think a lot of people see the shorts and then they don't go further and they see popular uploads. These are old videos. I mean, yeah, sure, go look at them, but those are old videos. This is these are past live streams. <laughs> then you have these. Now, if you want to see all of the videos, look up here. This is what I'm trying to show you. See where it says videos right here? Videos right here. When you click videos, then you're going to see all of the recent videos in order. A lot of folks don't know this. You're going to see every video in chronological order as it was posted to the channel. And you can go through and you can see, I mean, you're going to be able to go through all of them. Now, here's the other thing I want to show you. You can hit my playlists and you can see my playlists. You can go to community and in the community tab, I think a lot of people miss out on this in the community tab. This is what I posted today. Let me, uh, let me take something down here. So this is what I had posted today. And then you can go through 
And see, I, I let you guys know when the Big Ladder XL was out. And then that was the last hive. And then I told you when that was ready. And then another live. And then the Kaiser Towser K and the Havrog. And I tell you when things are on sale. See, I told you guys when that was available. So you're not going to see this stuff if you don't click the bell button and hit all. That way you'll get all of my notifications. You'll see all of these things. And make sure you stop by the community tab. So that's one thing. All right. So look, look for my mouse. Bye, Byron. Have a good evening. Bye, Byron. I don't see my mouse on the. Am I frozen or am I working? You're. I mean, you're scrolling on mine, but my screen's always behind. Okay. Here's membership. Here's channels. Now, this is what I. This is the main thing I got on here to show you. Is this right here? If you click this, click click the uh, what do you call that? Search bar. You hit the search bar all the way to the right and type in Kaiser, and then hit enter. It'll show you every one of my videos that it has a Kaiser in it. And my computer's running slow at the moment. But see, seven seven new Kaiser knives, new Kaiser designs. You're going to see all of the Kaiser videos. So that's a way for you to search a knife. And sometimes you'll need to use the name of the knife for it to show up. So that's just a little, little public service announcement. All right. Um, what time is it? It's 10, 23. Um, we did Bentley. Fidget spinners. Um, I told him about the fidget spinners. What does everybody talk about? I haven't seen the chat in 10 minutes. Um, people are saying bye to Byron. And then Matt Harvey says, Miller 86, to TV and can get addicting for the price. Sativian. Same thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just letting you know how, how it sounds. <laughs> I mean, I hear you say it all the time, but just because I hear you, my mouth doesn't work sometimes. What? See, I knew some, I knew some people would learn. Chris S said, yeah, great public service announcement for us old guys. I can't figure out how to do that stuff, but I do now. Thank you. There you go. You're very welcome. There's a lot of little things that have always been there and people don't know. And here, let me, sh <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more public service announcement. All right. So when you are looking at say bees blades and hopefully you're, this is the same one here is when you go to a video and you click on it. Oh my gosh. Am I going to be able to, why is it full screen? All right. If you hit click show more right here, see this? These are all my links to all of the stuff in the channel. All of these links right here, all the knives, the knife maintenance supplies, all that good stuff. You're going to be able to you're going to be able to go check all that out. All right. Oh, G.I. Joe, man. All right, let me look here at my notes. My notes. You have anything to add, Mrs. Bees? Nope, just sitting here. Just chilling? Just figuring out how long my leg is going to last like this. All right, let sleep. me see this. Oh, my phone's going to slide. I know. Oh, let me see. Let me show Let me show them this. What, you guys want to see a peach? peach? This is one of the peaches. I went, no, Mrs. B's went to the peach truck because I kind of forgot and overslept. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Mrs. B's had to go. Yeah. So I scheduled a peach pickup from the peach truck. Yeah, tell them your story. On Friday because I work, he's off, you know? So I was like, oh, hey, it'll be perfect. He can go pick it up. Pickup was between 8.30 and 10 o'clock. I remembered about 8 o'clock and I'm like, oh, no, he probably forgot. So I tried to call him multiple times. It's never nice answered. So I had to go up to my boss, technically my boss's boss, and be like, hey, um, the person who was supposed to pick up my beaches today 
isn't answering his phone. <laughs> Can I go run down the street and pick up a peach, please? Uh, I was going to show him how. Luckily, he let me go get him. Look at the, you, you get an idea. This thing is like the size of a softball. A softball. Uh, trying to think of something good for reference. Uh, do we have a softball? No, we don't have a I softball. I can go get the dog's giant tennis ball. <laughs> if you have the baton three, here's the baton three uh, case. You got it? Yeah. Means There's the baton swimming. three case. That's how big this peach is. It's giant enormous. Here you go. We got a ton of peaches. Peaches. Look at that thing. It's huge. Rob Dunaway has been a member for three months, and he says that's a Bentley sized peach. Yeah, it is. Rob Dunaway. I can't see the chat. First cat, now peaches. Yeah. Kyle says I want to slap it. Kitty. Oh, I forgot to feed him. Oh, he's hungry. Iggy said, I'm allergic to the skin on peaches. I love them peeled, though. Oh, okay. There you go. Huh. I wonder what it is about the skin fuzz that. The skin fudge is kind of weird. Rick Adkins is back, baby. Uh, Terrence Court is picking up peaches in Amish country tomorrow. Life's a peach and a pocket full of knives. Peach no good without fuzz. James and Giant Peach, now we know where he got it. He got him a George. Oh, there we go. Uh, Steve Sweeney said, hold a rat one for size two. There you go. So here is this peach, and here's a rat one. Blades Hook says, I thought Texas was a state of big things. Nope, it's Ohio. Steve says, how big is your hand? We measured my hand. We also measured your well, hand. They know, th if they know the size of my hand from, from my reviews. So there you go. Is that one of the bigger ones that are in the box? Or are they all about that? This is about the standard for the big ones. Yeah, that's a big boy. I'm going to make a cobbler with it. Oh, I love peach cobbler. Why is the light acting weird? Malarity Six says, uh, looks like a softball. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you throw it hard enough, it could be a softball. It's almost four inches. Just about. So if I can hold it level. Yeah, it's almost four inches from the top to the bottom. Robert says you should do a peach review video. <laughs> Iggy already knows. Four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, seven and a quarter from here to here. <laughs> Tree Stab and Troy said the same thing. Yep. Tree Tree Stab and Troy said from the end of my from the end of my palm from my start of my palm or end of my palm. End of my palm to the tip of my middle finger. Did you ever put peaches with your ice cream last year? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome, Ten. He says, now I want a peach. The peach truck is awesome. The real papa. Member for two months. Nothing like four-inch peaches. Thank you, real papa, for supporting the high. Very much appreciated, brother. Rob Dunaway says, guess the weight. <laughs> uh, I Love Knife said, bees, you sure know how to make four inches look big. <laughs> LS had peach ice cream time. Oh, no. Peach ice cream. I thought you meant ice cream and peaches. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, I thought you meant peach ice cream. I still haven't had peach ice cream. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I think we talked about this last year. How heavy do you think this is? I don't know. Um, let me see. Oh, gosh. That's way out of knife range. I was trying to think of a dog range. <laughs> See, once, once it gets out of the five, six ounce range, I start losing track. I feel like that'd be the size of like a small chihuahua. All right. I'm going to make a guess, even though this is out of my ballpark. Um, I'm going to guess, see if I can guess how much this weighs. Um, let's see. It's heavier than a knife. I'm going to go with... 
Um, I'm thinking about this one because it's up there. Is number 50 for a giveaway? Hot um, Dog says one guess and one guess alone. One, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. If that's five. This is... I, you know what? I'm just going to say 10. Let's see what it is. Um, I have to get up again, don't I? Right there's the thing. I just got comfortable. Well, I mean, this table's got plenty of room. Yeah, but it's because... I'm thinking it's somewhere in the 10 range. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. It's not like holding a knife. And the ounces? Oh, yeah. So this... this Here's my Manix 2. Here you go. Why is the light acting weird? And there's the peach. Uh, it's either nine or ten ten ounces or it no you know it, it might weigh it might weigh more than that it i'm gonna go 12 jeez i don't know just weigh it already it might be a pound just guess and weigh it it might be a pound okay weigh it please uh, okay 14 ounces thank you and it is See, I was close. 11.7 ounces. 10 was closer. 11.7 ounces. That would have been a fun giveaway, but it's, it's so hard to do those because there's... It's... Uh, Mateo said, did I miss the giveaway? Will the winner contact me so I can send my address? <laughs> Welcome, everybody that's joining. The Real Papa called it. CB over. Um, four peaches to a pound. Closest without going over. By the way, the Manix 2 is an awesome, awesome knife. Bees, I said the peach is 11.8. Mateo did? Really? He got that close. He's a peach man. So we did pocket checks. We uh, Hi, Mateo. Everyone said where, they, where they're watching from. We did a surprise giveaway for the commenters. Um, what? Let's see. They're having. Uh, I can't tell what's going on. I can't either. It's hard to decipher your brain sometimes. I know. I'm trying to. I take it the setup is not working. Oh no, it's working. I just opened up too many things, and now I don't know where I'm at. The setup is working very well, actually. I just have a lot of things open. Can you read what's going on? Uh, Country Boy says number pick. Number pick. Uh, no, but we are getting ready to do a giveaway, and it's going to be... It's <laughs> Don't use multiple accounts, please. Iggy says, does Mateo win the peach? Mm, no. It would probably be pretty gross by the time he got it. <laughs> CB says, eat it and weigh the pit. I'm saying 0.4 ounces. Hey, Nick Martino, look, the peach truck does a lot of traveling. It, it goes all over. It goes all over. It's a big, big rig. It's a refrigerated big rig, and it comes straight from Georgia. What's up, TN Bushcrafter? Terrence Cord feels lucky. Sharp guy says... Well, that was just peachy. That was peachy. <laughs> I did say peachy a lot today. Did you? It is ridiculous. We have 185 likes. 147 watching. 148 watching. And I'm going to do a giveaway, but don't use multiple accounts. Let's make this, this one uh, fair. Yeah, Nick, it's just uh, the peach truck. The peach tree truck. Yeah, if you Google the peach truck. It'll, 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 it'll pop up. It'll pop up. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I think they'll deliver to your house too. Like if you can't make it to the truck, I yeah. think we'll ship them to you. And they are good stuff. I will give you guys, and it, this is how, this is how uh, simple it is. It's called the peach truck and it is peach truck.com. Here it is. There's the link. Does the peach J. Truck Cruz make just it to New York State? It, it might. I don't know. 
they have a, they have a schedule. Jay Cruz said, "Hey, bees, just got home from San Diego Comic Con. Going back tomorrow. That sounds like a lot of fun." Do you dress up for Comic Con? If you do, what do you dress up as? Yes, Kyle. UDF does have peach ice cream. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to go get some of that stuff. I could have sworn you've had peach ice cream before. We used to go to UDF all the time. I know, but I don't remember ever trying peach ice cream. Why don't we ever go there anymore? Um, probably because it's not close anymore. That's true. Yeah, go the the peach truck is cool. Um, what am I doing? Um now I want ice cream. I know. He just wore a Superman t-shirt. Very nice. What t-shirt are you wearing tomorrow? Yeah, what are you wearing tomorrow? Spider-Man. Batman. The Green Lantern. What do you think, said I'm sipping a single malt scotch? Neat. That is neato. UDF is United Dairy Farmers. United Dairy Farmers. I <laughs> flip flap. <laughs> I want a knife truck to come to my house. Wouldn't that be awesome? Going to move into the country. Would that be like an ice cream truck, but with knives? Yeah. Going to eat me a lot of peaches. Yeah. You what? Could you imagine if there if there was a song playing and, and you run outside and walk out to the street and there's instead of a instead of an ice cream truck, it's a knife truck. And you could be like, um, <laughs> they'll have all the knives and the prices on the side of the vehicle. You're like, um, can I see that one? And he says, and nothing else, J. Cruz? Because he said he just wore a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Arnold, that's what I was wondering. What music would a knife truck play? That's the question. That's a good question. It wouldn't have a song, or it would make its own song with just a bunch of knives, like, flipping. Would it be a bunch of clicking noises? Yes. <laughs> but all the clicking noises would make a song. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. O-Tip said, I have to go to my brother-in-law's house tomorrow, so I'm going to wear a shirt I made. It's a huge name tag that says, hello, my name is in the way. <laughs> Chris Hole said, all my dad, all the dads would be running. Yeah, I'm Metallica, Metallica or ACDC, you'd be like, oh, the knife truck's here. <laughs> The knife truck brings all boys to the yard. Oh, real. <laughs> the real papa said sharp dressed man. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, the, uh, the, the what do you call it? Uh, the pocket jewelry trucks here. <laughs> Kenneth says, will the driver let you lick the blades? So let's see. Um, it it should play the theme from Halloween. Oh, that's an idea. Not what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> T and Bushcrafter said, or I could just go down the road to Smoke Mountain Knife Works. That might be easier. Bees Man Twenty Two. Chris S said, I put a cicada in the house for the cat to play with. He's been playing with it for two hours. Why would you put it in your house? Oh, man, that's that's the ultimate fun for cats. No, not fun for me. They see bees rolling. They hating. What do you think? Said the knife truck would be playing Mac the Knife by Bobby Darren, of course, showing my age. Robert W. says, anyone here have the October Mini? How has it been for you? Why am I not surprised you're about ready to grab that? Well, it's a Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> if you name a Kaiser, the, there's good odds I, I will have it. I like the Ki I like the October. Kurt says I bought ten I bought a ten on Chef's Knives because of the movie Halloween. Brian Adams cuts like a knife song. <laughs> All the 80s guys would run out saying, I want a knife. Mike. Jernick says, Peach Truck, two miles from my house, July 27th. Thanks. Going to check it out. Do it. Drippy Tunes, member for two months. <laughs> Thank you, brother, for supporting the channel. He said, curious if your views are doing what you hoped after the schedule change. I missed your videos before work. Don't catch them now until the evening. Still supporting, though. You know, um, I'm going to have to take a look. I might switch it back to six in the morning. 
we'll we'll see. I I don't have enough data yet to see if it's made the difference that YouTube acted like it would. So we might switch it back. Are you going to talk about the one in your hand? Oh, the, the October? <laughs> so there's two versions. I have them both. Um, this is the green one. There's this one, and then there's the black one. Let's see. If I turn the light up, will that help? Yeah. So this one has, out of the box, has better action because it has the satin blade. The other one has the uh, the stone wash. It's, it's just equally a good as knife. It's just you have to flip it more to get the little path, the little detent ball path worn in it. And then it's going to be just as smooth. But this one just out of the box is smoother. But they're both they're both equally fine. It's a great small knife. I've carried it quite a few times. It's a uh, it's it's not quite a fifth pocket, but it is a comfortable knife. And when I took it to work, I found out of the five knives, I usually carry five, that I would grab this one because it's a fun, perfect little knife. It's it's small, but it fits your hand well. Your middle finger kind of locks into that spot right there. Iggy and if says, your hand's bigger than mine, it would just wrap around. Iggy says she misses the early release videos. It always made her mornings better. Yeah, I, I may go back just because my core folks really like the 6 a.m. As, as soon as soon as uh I get as soon as I get the feedback as to whether it's helping. Now, right now in the from the from the beginning. I can tell a marked difference because before I um, view count wise, now when it when they come out at ten o'clock, the view count is higher. Now the overall, I don't have enough input to know that answer quite yet. But if it doesn't change by much at all, then I'll switch back. Well, here's the thing though: just know that one thing you can do is is switch switch, and you can watch it the next morning. But no, I totally get it. I may go back. I know a lot of people like the 6 a.m. A lot of people are saying, I love early morning uploads, breakfast with bees. I vote 6 a.m. I get off at 6 a.m. Please go back if you can. See, the, the age the age range of most of, of the folks in here, I think, are get up in the morning. Nick Martino said, "Either uh, same early. Either way, I do watch them all. But you watch them all, but someone else asked about another Kaiser, but I don't know where it went. Uh, Zadikim, how do I carry five knives? So dropped in my right pocket is a, is a tinker. So that's one. And then I have one clip to my right pocket. That's two. I have one clip to my left pocket. That's three. Then I have one on my keychain. That's four. This dude. And then most of the time I have a BDU style pants on and I'll often have one on each side. A lot of time I'll have six if you're counting all of those. So it's easy for me to carry five or six. These, this, this two Victorinox is two of them, one on each pocket. That's three, four. And then one in a, in a cargo pocket, that's five, just like that. Drewby says, I personally like 6 a.m., but want whatever's best for you brother bees no oh, appreciate that breakfast with bees patina says have you looked at the swiss army ramblers i've looked at them jb underground said my waffles just don't taste the same without bees in the morning i have not looked at them what are they vu fam said not 6 a.m pacific standard time i bet bees you on the base bdus no they're just BDU style, like cargo style. What? Whatever pants has the most pockets is what he's wearing. Whatever pants have the most pockets. They're they're cargo style pants. Something similar to what an EMT wears. Thanks, Mateo. But B said I'm old. I did? I don't remember that. <laughs> Mateo says B's is older. <laughs> Kevin Kirk said six knives and only two hands. Here's the thing. You have a knife for each thing. You have one to do small cuts or to clean your fingernails, small stuff, or a toothpick or tweezers. There you go. If I need a screwdriver, heavier duty things, some small prying, there you go. And then I'll have a slicer. Then I'll have a work knife. And on top of that, I review knives. So I carry a lot of knives. 
and I, I have quite the bedonka donk and I wear a belt, so it I it holds up just fine. What do you think? Says I'm retired, but still get up at 6 a.m. I sign on to YouTube and Facebook to catch up with friends and family. Then Bees Blades, Rain Man Ray, and Ali Sherlock to get off to a great morning. Bees, check out Red Cap Cargo Pants. I'll write that down. Red Cap Cargo Pants. Kurt says, I want to come back up to Ohio to, to go to the Air Force Museum, which I will do soon. Yeah, we, we are very close to the Air Force Museum. We're in that vicinity. What's the... Blah, blah, blah. Fluffy Delgado said, get a mini bug out and clip it in your beard. You won't even notice. <laughs> yeah, you probably wouldn't. TM Bushcrafter, open hill eight, a sack, case toothpick, and a Kershaw blackout, and a utility knife of sorts are the minimum carry every day in blue jeans. There you go. Yeah, I'll definitely check out the red cap cargo pants. That sounds interesting. All right, what's this going to be, Mrs. B's? Uh, I don't know. I'm on a mission right now. All right, you do that. You mind if I pick? I guess. All right. I just want to do this because no, no, of the go time. Ahead, go ahead. I just need a word. Go. I am in the middle of something. Okay. Um, oh, I know. I'm going to ask about a Kaiser, and I was scrolling back to see if I can find the comment. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Or you could ask them to ask again. Yeah, but I don't remember who it was. They'll remember. Somebody asked about a Kaiser a little bit ago. If you know who you are and remember your question, ask it again because I can't find the comment. Because someone was very long-winded. Hey. Uh, I want to say it started with an M. Is there a Kaiser that starts with an M or a K? Um, there's a there's a Cal Towser K. Is there like a Macala or a Koala. Um, yeah, the Tizer Koala. <laughs> I can't find it. Who fam says B said Kowser. Cow a Kowser Tay. Hey. Okay, here's a question for y'all. What movie is this from? Hey in the way, chicka pay. Not a clue. <laughs> I guarantee I people are going to know it. They're probably Googling it. Knife Collector has 32 Kaiser knives. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey in the way, chicka pay. I want to be retired. Dwayne K got it. It, it was no. I don't even know what that is. No, I um uh with what is that actor's name? Jodie Foster? I'm not. I don't know actor's names. She like grew up in the woods, and they had their own kind of uh, language. Uh -huh. Hey, in the way, chicka pay. Nick Martino's giving away more Kaisers than he currently owns. Hey, Blades of Daniel, his first Kaisers on the way, dude. All I can say is it better get there. Top Dog said, bees, take a survey. How many people here are retired? Raise your hand if you're retired. Raise your hand if you're retired. Who's retired in here? I know I, I want to be. I want to do I want to do knives full time. Do you? Yes, I do. Like a T in the wind. In the wind. I don't remember if she was blind. Um I don't think she was blind. Hey, people are actually putting the emoji with the hand up. I like it. LS, Delilah, they're both retired. Uh, Mike Jernak is, uh, no, he's waving to Stacy. Are you sure? I think. Is Stacy here? Pick a word. B for Baron said, pick a word. That's, <laughs> that's, all, I, that's all I care about. Yeah, she's here. There she is. Stacy's here. Please pray for her neighbor. Oh no, what happened to your neighbor? She's being very helpful to her neighbor. Just a lot of stuff going on. Oh no. There's a lot of retired people in here. 
I mean, aren't you technically close to retirement? I'm yeah, I'm getting I'm getting there. Um, if I could retire at 30 years, I would retire next year. Did you pick a word yet? Yep. Okay. I'm getting ready to show it on the screen. I was gonna wait and surprise people with it. We'll see. Kaiser Nomad, Mrs. B's. The Kaiser Nomad. Was that who was uh, asking? Kaiser Nomad. Uh, nomad. No, I don't think it was a nomad. Vu fam. Kaiser, action for you. Uh, let me pull this up. Vu fam. He said the new releases are on the way to retailers. Should hit the end of the month or so. Get those B's codes ready. Thank you, Vu. Thank you very much, brother. The, for the ten doll hairs. I have a story for you about a DB. DB? Yeah. Thank you very much, Boo Fam. Got new Kaisers on the way. Excited about that. Yeah. Look at that. All the channel members are showing their emojis, and all you folks that joined the the channel tonight. Thank you very much. That's awesome. And Stacy Bolsterblades is throwing up the throwing up the uh, we call those things links. the links. Yeah, we got the link master <laughs> keeping the honey flowing up in this hive. Action for you, Kaiser baby. One of these days, I should do a video with just my Kaisers. Mateo, he said I can be ninety and still sell meat, so that works. <laughs> Thank you, Mateo, for the two doll hairs. But do you really want to retire and then do this full time? Yeah, this would be a um, pull in retirement and have this as a, as a as my main job and do this full time. That'd be spectacular. Huh. Yeah, I'd love to do that. All right, now tell them the word. <sighs> I was waiting to spring it on them. Oh, sorry. Your people are I mean, getting, people were giving money. People are getting antsy. People were giving money. Well, you know what? I'm getting so antsy. So I, I was getting ready to click the button and people gave money. And I have to, you know, uh -huh. recognize it. I can only do one thing at a time. Uh, you, oh, that is very true. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know. Nick says, I would love to see a whole Kaiser collection video. Yeah, Kaiser is definitely my favorite. It's definitely what I collect. Um, let me see if How I did this. How many do you have? I don't know. What? I don't know the exact number. I could, <laughs> Dwayne K says, I could sell a ketchup popsicle to a lady wearing white gloves. <laughs> <laughs> don't they have ketchup popsicles out right now? Haven't you heard? We saw a commercial about it, didn't we? I don't know. What kind of popsicles? Ketchup. Ketchup popsicles? Because I said that looked disgusting. Uh, was it real? I think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, I was like, why is everyone saying peaches? <laughs> Miller said, I'll be retired at 40, but I'll do 30 years for max payout. See, I have to do 33 years for max payout. So I still have three and a half years to go. Not quite. <laughs> three years. Ask me how many years I have until I can retire. How many? 27. 27. <laughs> Woo. Going to so move into the country. Going to eat me a lot of peaches. If you want to be entered in this giveaway, if you're listening at work right now and you, you're not watching the screen, but you have your earbuds in, sneak to the bathroom and type in hashtag peaches. You only have to enter once because it, it won't count if you do it more than once. Or you could say a sentence with hashtag peaches in it. Because there's a giveaway currently going on right now. Peaches make the best cobbler. Oh, yeah. Math collector says. Justin Bieber left his peaches up in Georgia. <laughs> 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 oh, that's all. Travis Kirk, it won't bring out the mayor here, but it's honey. Thank you, Travis Kirk. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, brother, and keeping the honey flowing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Every dollar counts. That's how, that's one of the reasons why we have the knife cam. Mm, I want to read this, but it has a bad word on it. Just make the bad word something else. Ooh, I don't know if I can. I'll skip it. Which one? Uh, it's from Moose Duty. 
You said duty. It is. Peaches and Giant James. No, that's not it. He says, at Dwayne K, I can sell ice in the winter. I can sell fire in Hades. I can hustler. Baby, I can sell water to a whale. I wonder if that is, uh, I wonder if that is uh, from a song. I don't know, but I read it like a struggling person. <laughs> I don't know. Is hell a bad word? I don't know. I didn't want to chance it and get yelled at, so I said Hades. You agree? Peaches, peaches, peaches. Everyone's saying peaches. Chris S. said, good for you guys. That's better than 40 years. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mateo. He, uh, go get you some M-bomb jerky for Mateo. So, it doesn't look like we're going to get to 250 likes tonight, but that's all right. We're at least doing the second giveaway. Sure. Love your peaches when I shake your tree. That's to a tree. Oh, Love your peaches when I shake your I can't remember how it goes. I thought you were not supposed to sing. Well, You're I'm, all I'm about not singing tonight. I know, but I'm being careful. Are you though? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I just pushed buttons. Hashtag new table, peach infused jerky. There you go. Hey, Ooh. hey, hey, Mateo. Dude, this would totally work. A candied type jerky but hot with peach fruit and hot go together i mean they go together strawberries and and habanero and peaches and habanero go together just saying might be an idea so tonight's mateo says bees i'll send you some more this week Ooh, awesome awesome oh my goodness the giveaway pack on this one is whoo where do you guys see all the swaggage in this pack? This table is too slippery. Is it? Yeah. Oh, the rubbery thing's right there. It's just laying right there. It's that That's all you need. Too far away. Really? Yeah. It's like 10 Shh. feet. I don't want to get up, okay? <laughs> all right, let me show you guys and gals what you're going to get. But you can't make that sound. Nope. T.M. Bushcraft said, I've made peach and cayenne barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's what we talk. That's what we talking about. All right, here is. Yeah. So here's the stickers. Roaming turtle. I like that name. So you're going to get a, uh, a Mylia, a Mylia sticker. You're going to get a. You're going to get one of these stickers. Mateo or, says he's going to work on your flavor. Yeah, um, fruit and habanero go together very well. And here it is. Look at this. My last one. M-bomb jerky. That's what we're talking about. Go go on Instagram. Um, I'm sure that Stacy put his link up. Yeah, it was just tossed up a minute ago. Here's a, a nice sticker. A lonely stacker sticker. Is lonely stacker in here? No. See, no, Chris, you won't get disqualified. It only count it once. It only counts. You only. You, it only counts once. So if you do it multiple times, it won't count. It'll only count once. Hey, Robert Vance. Look, check this out. Liberty or death. Look at that. Hey, when you get more. That's from Top Dog. More inbound stickers. Can I take one to work? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I wish I would have known that. I would have given you this one. That's okay. The people deserve it too. A shark lock sticker. Check this out. If you, all of you folks that like the uh, the Velcro uh, patches. Look at this. A shark lock patch. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll win the pack. Look at that. Yeah, you can enter. I did. There you go. <laughs> a said Stevie sticker. A cue ball sticker. Cue ball. Cue ball. An OCD for EDC sticker. A Devo knives. Uh, what do you call this thing? Did you set pop on? I know. You asked me too fast. A coaster. Thank you. A Devo coaster. Devo knives. A dessert warrior sticker. A mermaid sticker. Hey, you remembered. I, I know. I couldn't believe it. It just came to my mind. I was like, it's a mermaid. A bees sticker. A beehive sticker. A knife eye sticker from Top Dog. Speaking of Top Dog, a Top Dog sticker. Is yours that faded? That one's not faded. That one's not faded. Yours, okay. Mine is, though. A Shane Gables. I was hoping Shane would be in here tonight. A Shane Gables PKR sticker. Iggy says, 
cue ball has stickers? Yeah, cue ball has stickers. A Lancelot leather, better than cardboard, baby. The new and improved large size bees blade sticker, I the waterproof like, sticker. I do like it a little bigger. Yeah, the <laughs> the other one was a little, it was like two, not even two inch sticker. Just look at it, stickers with some micarta and a queen bee sticker. Yeah. You're going to be set up with some stickerage and a bee's blade sticker and a bee's gnome sticker. Is that what it, or a keychain? Is that a gnome? Yes. A bee's gnome keychain. Look at that. Travis, beard, beard and all. Travis Kirk says, bees, you have to try habanero chocolate covered strawberries. That sounds good. Yeah, sweet, sweet and spicy definitely go together. Roaming Turtle says, "If I win, you can have all the stickers you want after you all. After all, you are the queen bee." Oh, oh. Well, thank you, but I will allow you to keep all your stickers. Guess what else? Guess what else? Look at this. Oh, what is that? Knife shield, a whole bottle. Thank you, KPL Knife Pivot Lou, <laughs> for donating the knife shield. To this giveaway, thank you very much, KPL. You guys know that I'm a affiliate to KPL, and I have 10% off of Knife Pivot Lube products. Links are in the description, and you can use code. Uh, I think it's Bees Ten or Bees Blades. I can't remember. Well, you know it's, what? It's, in, it's the in the description. description. <laughs> and some folks learned tonight how to see that stuff. Did they really? Yep, there's folks that didn't know that. What? So the knife that's in this giveaway was donated by Terry T-Rex. Thank you very much, Terry T-Rex. This is one I think is pretty cool. It is the Modus, the Steel Will Modus. There's this side, the Modus Operandi. I don't think he spelled that right, but that's okay. The Steel Will, like W-I-L-L, -L, Modus. I just put Modus. Yep. Oh, yeah. Don't like spell that wrong, but you'll get the idea. The Modus has a very slicey blade. I like that that grind on it. Fries and shaked rock. Oh yeah, you got to dip your fries in it. Oh, milkshake sounds so good right now. It brings all the boys to the yard. All right, did everyone put your hashtag peaches in at least just once? It only matters once. Mateo says, Miss Bees, before the night is done, can I see the sexy nimble? That pick is epic. Yes, I will grab it a little bit. All right. Did everybody get peaches in there? Uh, <laughs> just Nate Dog, you're close with beaches. <laughs> Flip the B to a P. Flip it. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Peaches for free. Peaches, he he. <laughs> <laughs> Tian Bushcraft said purple. 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 Son of a peaches. Mm. That's good. An eleven point. What was it? Eleven point seven ounce peach. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Now, speaking of fruit, I went to the fruit farm two, three years ago, whatever it was, and I bought a honey crisp apple. It weighed two pounds. You talk about a ginormous apple. It it was like this. Was that a Hidden Valley? Um, the one up uh, past Vandalia, whatever that one is. Oh. Noonan's Fruit Farm. Yeah, it's thick. <laughs> it's a big one. Thank you, Mateo. I also love it. I used it a lot yesterday. Mrs. Bees gets a lot of good use out of her knife. She uses it a lot. I do. All right, we're going to do this. Um, <laughs> Potato says hashtag oranges. <laughs> oranges. I love honey crisp apples. They're the best. They're the best. So there's 134 entries. Hopefully everybody said hashtag peaches. Those fritz hit the gym and use steroids. Yeah, tell me about it. Fruits. Fruits. Fritz. The fruits. <laughs> you guys ready? Grilled Here. sliced peaches glazed with balsamic. That sounds good. Mm, no. And here we go. Speaking of fruit, did you ever eat any of those like, grapes? And it, nope. It is Mrs. Freak Show. Mrs. Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she's still in here. 
Mrs. Freak Show, congratulations. She's a winning, the winningest winner of all winners. <laughs> she she has her uh, Devo Knives stout that she won at Blade Show, mm -hmm. and she just won all that stuff. She's going to have stickers for days. Heck yeah. Please. Woo -woo. Whoop, whoop. Email me, Mrs. Freak Show, beesblades at gmail.com. That is awesome sauce. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Mrs. Freak Show, EDC. That is cool. Winner. Winner. That is some cool stuff. Jared White. Man, cherry picking EDC. Speaking of fruit, member for nine months. Say congratulations, Mrs. Freak Show. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, Jared. You are an awesome member of the knife community. and You have been a friend to me and given me advice. Thank you very much for being a part of my knife journey and for supporting the hive and making things like the knife cam possible. Anyone else like potato cakes and applesauce? Potato cakes and apple, like together? Like, do you dip your potato cakes in the applesauce? Or do you eat them separately? Do you like the Kubi Raven? Roman Turtle didn't win. Still had fun with the peach. Yeah, I like the Raven. That's what uh, Miller it's all about. 86. I, th I know for a fact that I would like the uh, Raven even better if I had the one with the, uh, the titanium clip. TechShat, member for two months. Congratulations, Mrs. Freak Show. Thank you, TechShat, for supporting the channel, brother. Very much appreciated, man. All you, all you uh, let's see. I have, I have something in here to show you. Um, let's see, where is it? Do you think this is sharp? Oh, I'll check. What are they saying? I don't know. I just sat down. Iggy says potato pancakes and applesauce is amazing. Moose Duty says cocktail fruit. The Kubi Royal has S35VN for $80 on Amazon. Wow. What Chris Hole said, what is on the right? Two down. One, two. This is the one that was on the channel today. Peach dumplings with Sprite sauce. That sounds good. This is the new. Um, just Nate Duck says, I want the cormorant so bad, it's just pricey. Oh, yeah. How long have you had the titanium cormorant? Um, I don't remember seeing a review on that. I, I haven't done a review on it. I've had it for about a month and a half. Just over a month and a half, maybe. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Jared White, for being a member for nine months. Canuck said it's been a long day. I'm going to book it. Good night and have a great week, my friend. Good night, Canuck. Thank you for being here, Canuck. Have a good weekend. But this is the tuna fire. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Patina Turner says, where can I find the cormorant variant bees? The TIT. The, right now, White Mountain Knives has them. You can use code BEES10 to get 10% off of it. Somebody said earlier that you can get this one. This one right here is at White Mountain Knives right now. That one. Thanks. Um, Chris Hole said, I haven't been on my phone today, but I'll watch it tonight for sure. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's a cool knife. I like it. And this is going to be in a giveaway. Not tonight's giveaway, but it's going to be in a giveaway because... I have to, you know, I just posted the video today. I always get questions about a knife and I have to go back to the knife and look. Um, Zadikim said, you doing another giveaway if we hit 250? Probably. I usually do. I may. I may very well have a uh, knife prepared. Is that sharp? The blade? No, no. The end of the pocket clip. 
Yeah. It is. I didn't know if it was me or I've scratched my arm on that a few times. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does feel a little sharp. It's real. It's almost like a chunk got taken out. I don't think anything's I don't think anything has happened to it. No, I don't think so either, but that's what it feels like. And I would love to sand it down, but you can't because it would mess up that pretty prettiness. You, you've hit something with it. It's a little rough spot. If you go like this, you can feel. It's been like that. See since the, 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 the it's edge. It's been like that since the day you put it on. Has it? Yeah. Yeah. So her pocket clip has a. It's just a little sharp on the edge, but I I wouldn't want to sand it down because it would make it look weird. Although it probably wouldn't hurt it too bad. It would just. Like the the little edge of it is already shiny. See the tip right there. Mm -hmm. I could just touch that with a little bit of sandpaper, because if you feel it with your skin, it, it has a little grabby spot. Oh, I've touched it multiple times with my skin. Mm. Will you show Mateo that? Mateo. 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 There it is, Mateo. And all its. Mocha tie-ness. There's the mocha tie. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Bees loves her mocha tie. Do you have a Kaiser original? Just Nate Dog asked. Yes, I have a Kaiser original. Oh, yeah. I heard that the Kaiser original is on Amazon. By the way, if you go to buy a Kaiser knife on Amazon, make sure you use code Bees Blades. All one word, capital letters. You'll get 10% off because the majority of Kaiser knives sold on on. Amazon are sold by Mojave Outdoor. It is so smooth. It is really smooth. This I like the edges feel nice. I guess the only sharp spot would be that little thing if you hit it just right. Mm -hmm. And the way it sits and the way I walk it, like, got me on the inside of my arm one day. Iggy said, reach out to EMP. They will make it right. I guess I could. Yeah, so what she's talking about is right here just the tip just the tip right there right where my fingernails touching it there's the light right there is just a little sharp yeah robert w is trying to pick dude if you're trying to pick a kaiser you've come to the right channel um, if you saw earlier, I showed you how to search. You can search and go and watch all of my Kaiser videos. Um, in the last two months, I've done videos on probably 25, 26, 27 Kaisers. I have one video where I briefly showed 19 Kaisers. The last Kaiser video I did, I showed seven Kaisers. I have a lot of Kaiser videos. Um Here's the Kaiser original. Kaiser original. Here's the black one. I have the green one, the black one, and the gunmetal. And I plan on always keeping them. Hi, Lancelot Leather. Well, what's up, Joe? You're uh, one of your stickers. I think it was my last one was in the giveaway we just did a couple minutes ago. What are you carrying in your pocket today, Lancelot? Yeah, the original is just so fun. It's so flippable. This, the black one is the one I use the most. I'm keeping the gunmetal as my safe queen original. But this one I've used so much. It is unbelievable how much I've used it. Iggy's telling you to blink. I'm a blinking. Isn't that cool? Depends on what size you need. It looks slick. Man, it is. Look at this. It has such good action. Lancelot said, I've been carrying my old K-Bar slip joint in my Runt 5 today. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I carried this yesterday. This is my Hawaii knife and gear, Swiss Army knife, in... The slip from Lancelot Leather. Vu says the gunmetal is slightly different. I love it. Yeah. 
Romy Turtle said, you guys are providing me with so much. She said, humor, bravo. I say bravo. <laughs> You're welcome. Just Nate Dog said, I'm buying that original. LSBs, your brother wants to know if you're going kayaking tomorrow. Is Nathan in here? Yeah, no idea. Why is it when my family's in here, I ne do they not have pictures? Is that what? Is that why I don't see them? Probably. There he is. Oh, it's just an N. Because if you don't have, a, if you don't put a picture, it's just a letter, and I don't think it pops as much. I don't know. I never. I always seem to miss it. My son will come in here and he'll say, "You didn't say hi to me." I'm like, "Well, I didn't see it." Yes, I'm going kayaking tomorrow. Mrs. Bees is going to. Let's not talk about it. A thing with her girlfriends, and I am going kayaking with my brother and sister and whoever else from the family goes. Are you going kayaking or canoeing? I think I think they all like kayaks. I I like canoes. But if they don't want a canoe, I'll kayak. Canoes are, I I like being the steerer, in the back of the of the canoe, and I just tell the person on the front right or left. Well, I hope you have a terrible time without me. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good time. Hey, you don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Jacob said, "I wonder why B is such a better stream. Wonder why what? I don't know." See you later, Chris S. Canoes are better. Yeah, Zadikim, I like canoes. I don't like canoes. I like canoeing. There's no canoes like good canoes. What's that from? I always feel like I'm going to flip a canoe. <laughs> flip a canoe. <laughs> Tip a canoe. That's what I was thinking. Flip a canoe. See, Robert Vance said, that's why I talk in capitals, so you can see me. All right, everybody, you re ready? Here, it, Here's how you get me to notice your comment you have to type in the at symbol and then spell out these blades exactly how it looks and it will highlight my name in red Kais Kaiser. if you want to talk to someone <laughs> else in the chat use the at symbol then spell their name out exactly how you're, you see it and it will when they see it their name will be highlighted in red they will see your comment Budget Blade Reviews just did it. He said, Bees Blaze, I love you. See? It popped right up. And Kayaks are red. easier to flip. Aren't they, though? So, Nathan, give it a try while you're on here. Use the at symbol and then spell Bees Blades. Like, I'll, I'll say something so you guys can see what my name looks, looks like. Break your neck. Ask what knife are you taking tomorrow? Hungry Bird, not like that. You have to spell it exactly how you see. Bees Blades just popped up. You have to do the at symbol. Bees space blades and it will make my name pop up in red. Anybody else in the chat? It does it to them too. Like that. <laughs> Everyone's practicing. Hmm. Yeah. I did not. Okay. Maybe I feel that way because there's two people in a canoe and only one person in, in a kayak. So I feel sturdier. <clears throat> people want the quiet carrying Van Axe. See, this is who just highlighted my name correctly because this is it worked. Budget Blade Review, Mike Jernak. Budget Blade Review, Hungry Bird, JH, Travis Kurt, Top Dog, Twang Fang, Hungry Bird, Level One Up, Dwayne K, Country Boy. Brent Irwin, I Love Knives, Travis Kirk, Prado24, Vu Fam. Those are all the folks that, oh, those are all the folks that highlighted my name and it made it show up in red. It only does that on a computer top dog. Like if you're using your phone, you have to type out their whole name. Yeah. If you're on your phone, you have to type out their whole name exactly how you see it in the chat. However you see it when it pops up, when you see their name. Use the at symbol and then spell out their name exactly how you see it. And when you when you do that and say something, they will see it because their name will be highlighted in red. For instance, Nathan Baker, watch this. Yes, Budget Blades Review, that worked. See, there you go, Nathan. Level one up. There you go. Text yeah. There you go. That's how you that's how you catch someone's attention. Someone else in the chat, if you if they're not seeing you try to talk to them, you can do that and they'll see it because it highlights their name in red. Hungry bird. Said, bees, that is awesome, bro. I was wondering for years now. Yes, that is how you do that. You're just full of PSAs tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of is those it, little things. The PSA? Public service announcement, yeah. 
Travis Kirks has said something. Blue Sting 2009, he did it. Dwayne Letterman, Hungry Bird, the real Papa, the real Papa. Matt Matt Phillips, he said, cool. See, it, Phillips. 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 Did it was someone else? I don't know. No, I have no <laughs> idea. Rob Rivera. See, that's how you that's how you get someone else's attention in the chat. It makes their name show up in red. It, it's like pow. Like I don't even have to be looking at the screen. If I see that, I see that my name's being popped up. But it only is red on your screen, not mine. It's only red on the person screen that you're saying it to. No one else sees it in red. Mike K said, is USN any good? USN. What is USN? Mm. United something? Twang Thing said, I ordered a purple G10 Sin Cut Acumen and got a Jade G10. I love it. I think I'll keep it. Well, there you go. That worked out. Robert W. said, Bees, in your opinion, which handle feels the best? The October Mini versus the Roach Mini. The October Mini. The Roach Mini looks really cool, but the edges of it are a little, uh, they're not sharp. They're just a little grabby. And I know with a little, if I got sandpaper, just went like this like three times, it would take the edge off. But what it is, is the edge. Come on, light, catch up. Okay, come on, catch up. Right here, the edges, see where those, right there, where the uh, the little honeycombs start and stop? They're kind of a little bit grabby. What am I doing with this? Just feeling the edge of it. Um. Oh, well, you know what? While we're doing this. Sometimes this is what my bathroom tile feels like. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know what? It's funny that we're doing this because, hold that a second, please. Because this is one of the things that I was going to bring up tonight. It was one of my topic ideas. Vu says, Bees, did you see the Mexican blanket G Carta I got on mine? Yes, I did. That one looks really cool. Nobody likes grabby. Top Dog said. Budget Blade Review said, so you could do it without the at sign. Just type their name right. I, I don't know that it will highlight it. Maybe so. The real Papa said, pow. Hungry um, Bird says, Walmart Auto Section has a higher grit sandpaper or multi-pack on Amazon. Oh, yeah. I, I have a multi-pack of, it goes from zero to a thousand. Matt Phillips said, cool. Mike Yass said, FYI, okay. Uh, Why are you having such a hard time with his name? Phillips. Who? Matt Phillips? What did I say? Phillips. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mike Gass said, FYI, White Mountain Knives has Trevisa links with nice pocket clips. Oh, yeah. The Trevisa links, I I have a review on it. I have a review on both the links 04 and the, the 05. Or the 03 and the 04. I have both of those. The blue one. He's talking about this one right here. So if you want to see this one disassembled, in all of its beauty. This video didn't do very well for some reason. It has that fancy uh, fancy thumb stud. S35VN. This is this is a Primo. It's a nice knife. What's up, Rob Rivera and Chris Hole? Everyone's learned how to do it. This is awesome. Um, mentioning, Tom Sheehan said, mentioning Canoe is reminding me of the movie Deliverance. Robert said, in your opinion, which handle? Okay, I already got that. Other than intended purpose said, mine shows up in yellow. Well, hey, it works. Dwayne K said, bees. What's up, Dwayne K? Travis Kirk said, at bees blades, this is such a useful tip. OMG. That's awesome. I love it. LS said, bees. Check, check, check. Chris Hole said, U.S. Navy. Wait, the chat jumped on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. I Iggy said, I can hear a banjo, Tom. <laughs> uh, VuFam, if you go look at Instagram, VuFam has a really awesome looking uh, Mexican blanket 
G Carta scales on his. Matt Phillips said, Bees, just got some learning. Budge Blade Review said, Bees, you think it's harder to be a pitcher or a hitter? I don't know. Probably both the same, I guess. Vu Fam said, The Roach Mini is really good, but the scales are abrasive to pockets. Yes, they, uh, yes, that's exactly it. Uh, Chris Hole said, Did I go do it wrong again, Bees Blade? You did it correct right there. I love knives said at bees. Did that work? No, that did not work. It did not highlight my name by just putting bees. You have to put, if you're on a computer, it'll do it automatically for you. It'll just pop right up after two letters. If you're on a computer and you put at, and then the first two letters of someone's name, it'll pop up. You can hit enter, enter, and it'll put it right in. Zadikim said bees is dyslexic. Phillips, Matt Phillips, Phillips. I got it. Prado said, guys, Petrified Fish has the best customer service. Sending me another knife for the one that was pitched. And they email me with the updates as they are monitoring it. Just fabulous. Yeah. Petrified Fish went from just an AliExpress store to mainstream in, the, in America. I remember looking at them on AliExpress before they ever even got to Amazon and wondering about those knives. But I was like, I never hear about it. And then I got over worrying about what other people thought about knives that I review. And I review the knives, whether they're cheap or not. And a lot of people enjoy them. And I'm glad I got over that. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, wow. The chat. Attorney Bailey. Okay, you're really far behind. I am way behind. <laughs> Attorney Bailey, thank you very much, brother. I'm waiting on uh, StreamYard to catch up. I don't think he can. It's 700 behind. Thank you very much, Attorney Bailey. Ten doll hairs up in this hive. Thank you, brother. Keeping the honey flowing. The honey, the honey was getting bogged down. It was getting slow. Thank you very much for the super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Darnell said, how to find how long being a subscriber? Um, I'm not sure. Um, channel, channel members, know, they are putting up that because they are channel members. I don't know if it will tell you how long you've been subscribed. There might be a spot on YouTube in your personal YouTube that tells you that. Level one up said, B's. Maybe try getting some knife makers, designer, heads of companies to enlighten us with information we might not have thought about. Maybe try getting some knife makers, designers, or heads of companies to enlighten us with information. Can you be more specific? Matthew Tech Dog said, Bees, just a note, the titanium cormorant on White Mountain Knives is not the same frag pattern, rather a titanium version of the XX scales. Thank you. I did not know that. Thank you. Witness. Night Knife Collector. Well, Night Knife Collector. And thank you, Attorney Bailey, for the 10 doll hairs very much for supporting the hive. Um, witness said, I'm waiting on the Bastide Nightshade LT. It should ship on Monday. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Hungry Bird says, at bees, right on bees. We appreciate your reviews. Like, I like your channel because it's always a good time watching your vids, bud. I watched one from a few days ago. Oh, very nice. You should probably scroll, Will you keep reading? You should probably scroll down on that set and jump on you again. Uh, he's uh, Darnell said, thanks. Just don't remember how long I've been with you. It's been a good while. Um, let me, all right, let me backtrack here. Michael Upchurch says tired. Rob Rivera said, thank, thanks to your recommendation and the white mountain knives affiliations. 
I pick up the Migron Valona this week and it arrived today. Awesome knife and save some money. Thank you, Rob Rivera. Um, I'm not an affiliate with White Mountain Knives. There, there is no kickback. It's just a 10% discount. So when you see me pushing my White Mountain Knives 10% discount, it's to give you 10% off. Do you have a favorite knife channel? Do I have a favorite knife channel? Um, yeah, Neve Knives. I, I, uh, I. I agree. I think along the line, the lines of Neves. I like Neves. Um, what is that? It's a spinner. Oh. Josh Branson says your own. <laughs> uh, Bees blades is all right. He's he's kind of over energetic in some of his videos. Kind of over the top a little bit. Sometimes. Just just sometimes. Dwayne K said, Jared got me started. Yeah, I like Jared. Um, people, please like the live. A few more likes and we have another giveaway. Yeah, if, you, if you're in here and you haven't hit the thumbs up, when we get to 250 uh, likes or 250 thumbs ups, I typically do a extra giveaway. We've done two giveaways already. And there may or may not be a really nice giveaway prepared if we hit 250 likes. Is that first thunder touching something? No. Is it sitting on something? It's probably just the way this one. No, the other one. This one. Yeah. It's just sitting on the surface. Yeah. This one's making noise. It's very loud. Yeah, that one makes noise. Nope. It's oh, that it one. is that one. Probably just the where it's sitting or how it's sitting. Bees. Any chance of guests in the future? Yeah, Matt. I I could always do guests. Here's the thing. If I do guests, then I'm there, there's not going to be much interaction with you guys. That's kind of why I used to, back in the day, I used to do guests, multiple guests. There were three, two, three, four, five, six people on the channel every week. The only problem is talking to the guest and talking to you guys, you got to talk to one or the other. It's hard to do all three at the same time. So if you notice in some of the channels that always have a guest, the, the people in the chats, you don't get talked to very much. And it's not on purpose. It's just the fact that when two people are having a conversation, like right now, I'm talking, looking at you in the camera. I don't see what's going on over on the screen. That's what I'm here for. That's what Mrs. Bees is for. Sometimes. If you don't like the live, you pour your milk in before the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Prado said, Bees has Jedi mind powers. It makes me buy knives. A lot of knives. Ken Faulkner said, raise your hand if Bees is your favorite channel. Chris Hole said, is the, Bees is the man, but shh, don't tell him. Level on up says, okay, guests are a no-go. Hmm? Pour the milk before the cereal. <laughs> oh, now I get that. Uh, level one up said bees. I like learning about how things are made. Maybe you could talk about how a knife design comes to fruition or might change due to manufacturing capabilities, limits or materials, money, etc. That's beyond my scope at the moment. That's a lot. Knife design. I don't do knife design. Dwayne K, do you feel like you're being ignored? He says, I don't like to be ignored. Well, I think he's talking about if I have guests, then he, oh. then I wouldn't see his comments. Ken Faulkner, $10 for my favorite channel. Dude, Ken, thank you very much, man. Ken, you are awesome. I always see that smiling face on all my videos. Ken! Michael Upchurch says, Bees, you have any knives better than cue balls or Matisfactions? <laughs> I don't know. I know cue balls got a lot of nice knives. Thank you very much, Ken. You you are awesome, brother. Drew says, Bees is a knife consumer. <laughs> a knife consumer? Yeah, I'm a consumer. I haven't gone into all that. Uh, Zadikim said, Bees just married Queen Bee so she can read the comments in the lives. <laughs> That's exactly it. That was it. Thank you, Ken. Level on up says, Bees, what mod are you vaping on? Um... This is the the geek vape, and I don't know what I don't know what the uh, the thingy is. 
Dwayne K said, no, I will not be ignored. Oh, fatal attraction. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. If you're, if you're a, uh, Oh no. Other than a vapor. intended purpose says bees. I designed and made a pretty big expense. Uh, my own fixed blade and the guy I sent them to to heat treat disappeared from the internet and stole my four prototypes. Oh my gosh. Blue <laughs> fam said bees was impressed the, with the queen's breeding abilities. Yeah, they are subpar on a good night. Todd Carr said, "Cue ball definitely has the inferior one compared to Maddie and Stevie. Cue ball has a pretty crazy collection, but I get what you're saying, Todd Carr. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ken Faulkner, for for putting some doll hairs up in the hive, man. You guys, that that's why you know." Iggy says, "Why did Miss Bees marry these blades?" Yeah, that's the question. That is something I ask myself every day. <laughs> I'm kidding. Every day. I picked him because he's kind of cute. <sighs> Did you just make a weird face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy is a dork. Subpar still impressed him. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. Nobody. Do you know what movie that's from? Mm, Love and One Up has a geek vape Agus. Or is that the, maybe that's. This geek vape. Geek. Geek vape agus. <laughs> geek vape geek geek geek. <laughs> oh, you are struggle bussing. Twang thing said, "Will twenty CV rust if it's in lefty's pocket?" Yes. <laughs> I I think twenty CV is pretty stainless. Darnell bees always. Darnell said bees always acknowledges everyone on the live. Other channels get too busy. With most stuff. Um, see that that's my only thing. Uh, oh yeah, Javon has an awesome collection, man. I'm telling you what. That that's my thing with the live stream is I get I get to talk to you all for about three three and a half hours, and I like the idea of having guests, but it's it's it, difficult. If you have a guest on, you don't get much interaction, or you get some, but. You know, as it is right now, I still miss comments because that's just got to, it's going to happen. But when you have guests on, you're going to miss more comments. Joshua Mostel, remember for four, for two months. Thanks for keeping Friday nights awesome, bees and Mrs. Bees. Chat also. <laughs> thank you, Joshua. I said thank you. Uh. Thank you, <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, Do you need a timeout? <laughs> I guess. Oh, that's funny. Top Dog said the Hold Fast Collective, military decals, gifts, and certificates. Oh, yeah, definitely go check that out. Ken Faulkner said 20 CV is like the American M390. So it's very stainless, except for Lefty. Yeah, Lefty is an exception. He he's an exception to the rule. <laughs> he can he can make, I don't know, he can make anything rust. It, because he's a left we don't know if it's his sweat. I mean, but every one of his knives somehow, I don't know how it happens. Zadikim said, and also sometimes the chemistry between the two people on the stream isn't there. So the guest's interaction feels awkward. You know, it's also kind of weird when, when somebody has a guest and the, and the guest doesn't really talk. Unless it's Lefty that's having the guest on, because Lefty he he has Does no he problem filling. <laughs> Mrs. B's hears me lift, listen to the live streams, and I Lefty never runs out of words. <laughs> He's like me. <laughs> I think he has more words than I do. Could you imagine you two in a live together? Who would get more words in? Me and him would just compete. We would just be talking over each other. <sighs> Or I'd I'd be trying to be nice until I couldn't hold my hold my words anymore, and then I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. the old choot schmooch. What? <laughs> Love one up bees. It's cool. Just do your thing. Stick with what you are great at. I'm having way too much fun. Yeah. Uh, would you guys, if if you want, I, there's plenty of uh, knife people out there. Plenty of channels that 
I know that if I asked, they would be happy to come on and hang out. Chris Hole says, it's up you guys. it has to be the right guest who understands the show and the flow and how important view interaction is. Yeah. Dwayne K says, oh, tell me about it. I watched a stream and the guest put me to sleep. Yeah, sometimes the guests just kind of watch and don't say anything. Darnell Selt, if it's said, if it's not broken, nothing to fix. Thank you for being you, bees. Sometimes I find it hard to concentrate when there's multiple guests on because everyone's kind of like talking over themselves and it's just hard to follow. Matt Harvey said, Bees the Knife Junkie does a great job with guests, but also has a great moderator. Mm. Oh. Speaking of moderators, all of you that are regular Bees Bladers, which is pretty much everyone's in here. <laughs> um, if you're if you're ever, if you watch a Bees Blades video, one of my videos comes out and you watch it and you comment. If you have a spare moment, just a minute, just one or two minutes of your day, and you would like to help the channel, or if you'd like to support me, um, scroll through. If there's a question or something and you, and a question you could answer and you could help me out, that would be much appreciated. Because there are times when I don't get a lunch break. There are times when I, like today, I today was extremely busy. I. What was that? What was that? Was that upstairs? I don't know. Do we have a critter in the house? I don't know what that was. That was a weird noise. That was a very weird noise. Um, anywho. Anywho. <laughs> uh, before you finish that, the US, no, USN is a knife show coming to Vegas in September. That's what Mike K said. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I definitely won't be going to Vegas. Twang said, 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 thanks, Bees and Ken, for the info on 20CV. I knew you guys would know. I didn't, but Ken did. Top Doc says, the Knife Junkie has a producer more than a moderator. Ah. And the real Papa, yeah, we got gremlins. Apparently we, oh no, we're still good. We still have 17 minutes. We what are you talking about? We can't feed or water them after midnight. Oh, I got you. Level one up said, Bees, I wasn't criticizing you earlier and asked for ideas and just threw my two pennies in. Oh, I didn't take it as criticism at all. I Chris, love, I love knives. Is the dog into something? No, that was definitely a downstairs noise. Was it? I think so. I, I, don't, know. I don't know what that was. I hope the dog's not into anything. Level one up said, B, uh, Chris said, just to be clear, I don't think you need a guest. I was just giving my two cents on the topic. Oh, no, it's, I'm, it's a good topic. Uh, yeah, I had fun with Neves. I had fun with Neves, definitely. And he's on my channel. LS says, do you have an animal in the attic? I don't know. We're in the basement. <laughs> We're in the basement. <laughs> the attic right now is the, the, main, the main upstairs. Country Boy is heading out. Good night. Steve Sweeney said, bees have fun tomorrow. Be safe and wear a flotation device. I definitely will. Twang said, said there's so many blade steels that are new to me. It sometimes gets a little overwhelming. Yeah, definitely. A lot of the a lot of the fancier blade steels are kind of out of my price range, so I don't see them a whole lot. I like S thirty five VN a lot, um, and then I, I like I like one fifty four CM because that's I that I have more of one fifty four CM than anything. Revy Revy YT said, "Bees the liner lock in the original Towser K tears up my thumb. The new one looks different. Is it any less of a finger ripper?" didn't know the other one tore up your thumb. Um, Kaiser Towser K, where is it? Here's here's my here's my modified Towser K. Where's the other one that you had earlier? Hey, Butch oh, Cassidy. Right there. Butch Cassidy finally made it. Yeah, I like I like 14C28 all day long. 14C is awesome. So here's the Towser K. Um, let's see. Mrs. Freak Show says there's a new show about people living in other people's houses without them knowing got king period of time. How do you not know someone else is living in your house? Yeah, how do you not know that? I mean, like, wouldn't stuff move? And you'd be like, hey, I didn't move that. That would be weird. That would be super weird. Later, Prado. Bye, Prado. Um, let's see. The new Towser K, does it tear up my thumb? 
Well, I guess it's a matter of how do you do it? Like with the Towser K, I tend to use the tip of my finger and a little bit of my finger now. I don't think it. I don't think it's that rough. San Renmu knives. Yeah, I, you know what, Robert Vance? I wish, I wish my big honker of a San Renmu. <laughs> it's supposed to mean for a long period of time. Dang, auto correct is what Mrs. Greco just said. Uh -huh. I still think I would know if someone was in my house. I wish this one was still available on uh Night Lance Amazon. Lot. Have a good weekend. Good night, Lance Lot. Thanks for stopping by, brother. And everybody go check out EDC Roundtable. So you can go to Lance Lot and get some cool leather goods. He makes some really sweet leather stuff. And um, I have something that I'm, I'll be giving away from Lance Lot Leather. I've been holding on to it. Uh, Zadikim said, like the live, you frivolous flops. Brent Irwin. Brent with a super chat. Super chat. Thank you, Brent. Thank you very much, brother. You get the you get the mara hair. Witness FTP says I'm in Freak Show. They are called house pests. Or are they called children? Children. No, because they live in your house for a long period of time. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> Thank you very much for keeping the honey flowing at the hive, man. That is so much appreciated. Darnell says never will happen in Chicago. Chicago. Butch Cassidy said, I'm just now getting to eat supper. Wow. Lancelot Leather said, bees, I'll get some stickers headed, your, more stickers headed your way. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Brent Irwin says, got another knife coming your way. Oh, very nice. No. What, are, what are you eating for supper, Butch? I like food. Tell yeah, me about what, food. what? Tell me about it. Tell us about the food. Food, food, food. food we food, like food. food. Oh my gosh, why we is this should playing? Make some cinnamon rolls tomorrow. Cinnamon rolls sound good. Sound good. Chris says, just give them my address, bees. Ha -ha. Spaghetti and salad. Spaghetti and salad? Yep. So I think it's about time to start wrapping it up. It's about midnight here on the east side. Todd Carr says, Butch Cassidy, I'm just getting ready to have a second supper. A second supper. What are you having for your second supper? What's your Todd? second supper? Chris loves me some cinnamon rolls. Who doesn't like cinnamon Who rolls? doesn't like cinnamon Unless rolls? you're allergic to cinnamon. Oh, beaners. Let's... Do you know someone who's allergic to cinnamon? Um, there's. I've, I've, I feel like I've met someone who is allergic to it. Well, there was somebody that said they were allergic to it. I think they just don't like the smell of it. Oh. Do we know this person? Mm -hmm. Do you used to work with her? I didn't catch that, but I'm sure everyone on there. You don't remember uh, all the way at the last desk? Oh, maybe that's who I'm thinking of. Um, Blade took Daniel, said, night night, kids, be good. Twang Thing had red lobster this evening, cheddar biscuits. Um, to answer the question about the Towser K, um, it doesn't tear up my thumb. It's not the most comfortable pass through in the world, but I, I tend to turn my hand a little sideways when I do it. And it, I didn't really notice before, but yeah, I, I don't really use, it seems like sometimes I use my uh, finger, the end of my fingernail and sometimes I don't. So if you don't have any thumbnail at all, um, like I have some thumb, I try to keep a moderate amount of nailage. But I miss so I have that much. And I think I have a callus because I fit, I flip knives so much, kind of like a guitarist get. Todd Carr says bananas, spaghetti and meatball, spaghetti and meatballs, garlic bread, half of a large Dairy Queen chocolate brownie supreme blizzard. Holy cow. <laughs> Was that your second supper or your first supper? Butch Cassidy says, add Todd Carr, heck yeah, I'll eat cereal before I go to bed. Oh, well. Uh, this one over here is a sleepy smacker. Mm -hmm. He'll fall asleep on the couch. Be half awake 
and go to the kitchen and either eat like cereal or like he'll reheat something. And I'm like, are you going to wake right now to be eating? That is what we call a sleepy snacker. Yep. And then he'll eat it and then fall right back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a sleepwalker, you are a sleep. I'm eater. a sleep eater. You're a sleep eater. Yeah, I wake up with the munchies. Oh, yeah. Dwayne K says, oh, I found something really good from Bob Evans. Cheddar potato soup with bacon bits on top. It is so good. They do have good potato soup. And I'm very particular about my, my tater soup. Tater soup. I like a good tater soup. Tater salad. Josh Branson also suffers from sleepy snacking. Yeah. It, I wake up and I just somber in there and I'm like, cereal... I just look for something to snack on. Gremlins aren't supposed to eat after midnight. Todd Carr said his first supper was a beef stir fry, fried rice, and a cinnamon coffee cake for dessert. Man, everything you've eaten tonight sounds delicious. Yes. Budget Blade says, I don't mind Bob Evans mac and cheese, but I add more cheese. I don't know if I've ever had their mac and cheese. Have we had it? I'm sure we have. And I don't know if I've had Bob Evans mac and cheese or not. You know, I always think City Barbecue is going to have some bomb.com mac and cheese. And it's always so disappointing. <laughs> There's like no flavor to it. It's not cheesy enough. It's not cheesy enough. Cheesy. Um, it is strawberry banana. Oh. And as Dwayne K would say. Mm hmm I like me some French fried potatoes. Is that what Dwayne K sounds like when he says that? No, but I was doing my sling blade impression. Oh, okay. Mm hmm I like me some French fried potatoes. I'll have to try to make some potato soup. Ken Faulkner said, what's the fixie on that pile? The correct knife. <laughs> so, I almost forgot to bring this up. So, last week, I got uh, the awesome gift of this uh, sheath from Iggy. I'll show you the sheath. <laughs> and the funniest thing, I didn't find out till after the fact. But here's the sheath. It's the black with the red stitching. And right here it has BB for B's blades on there with my font. And I put the Waxahachie. I thought it went to the Waxahachie. The Waxahachie goes in it, but not 100%. And I didn't realize it. I mean, it works. It absolutely works for the Waxahachie. Waxahachie. The Waxahachie. It works for it. But it was sent for this knife right here. And it fits like a, like a glove. It was sent for this one. This one right here. I love this knife. This was given to me by a friend and a channel member, a supporter of the channel. I don't think I've ever seen that knife. And it is so comfortable. I think I've, yeah, I think I've had you hold it before. It has a little bit of poon going on right there. It fits my hand so well and it is so comfortable. I don't know the name of it, but it is, it is, uh, can you see it? Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a rake, a rake knife, and it's a fixed blade, and it is just so comfortable. And I found out after the fact from uh, Iggy, who is the the leather maker? It just slipped my mind. Um, Todd Carr says, I'm 6'3 and 250, but I've eaten like this my whole life. Force a habit at this point. O-Tip says, add Todd. I was 6'3 six, six before my parachute accident. Now I'm 6 even. Oh, did you hit the ground hard and you shrank? Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Did you break things and you shrank? Or it just, like, compacted you that much? That is my question. Thank you, Steve. Steve Sweeney. I will have fun tomorrow. Um, It wasn't Lancelot. It was uh something in leather. It's just totally slipping my mind. Um, by the way, let me, 
let me look at something real quick. Hopefully, before I forget something. Okay, so I have a package to open from Josh Branson. Huh. Stacy says, yeah, most paratroopers become shorter. Huh. It compresses them. My grandpa fell out of an apple tree, and that's the year I became taller than him. I kid you not. Because <laughs> I would always go and stand up next to my grandpa and try to stand up tall, and he'd be a little bit taller. And he fell like 30 feet from an apple tree and had to wear a back brace and stuff. And it compressed him. So I have huh. a package here from Josh Branson that I'm going to open right now. I did not know that. That's very interesting facts. Not about your grandpa, but about paratroopers. This Rick, this, this rake. Oh, it, it doesn't. I don't think it weighs three ounces. It's hard to tell. It feels different. Huh. It's very light. Oh, oh to uh, other than intended purpose says at these broke 56 bones, including my neck in four places and my back in seven plus shattered both legs. Spinal fusion makes you shorter by the thickness of removing cartilage. Holy toots magoots. You broke a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. You're lucky. You broke your neck in four places. Oh my. Yeah, that definitely would make you a little shorter. Yeah, it would. Somebody tell me what this is. It I can't remember the name of it. Is it the Hornet? It feels lighter than it is. It weighs 3.7 ounces. People say how lucky I am. They don't have to live like this. Yeah, for sure. Are you in a lot of pain all the time? Like, are you, like, when it's cold out or when it rains, like, does it hurt more or extra? I don't know. That's a weird question, but. Tree 7 Troy said, it's a knife. All right. Let's see what we got from Josh Branson. So let's open it up very carefully. Oh, I know what it is. You know what it is? Yeah. He literally just said what it is. Did he really? Yeah. Well, don't look. Be surprised when you open it. Okay. He he told me what he was sending me, and I and then I've forgot since then. I just don't know. You're special. Oh, what is this? I don't know. So a there's a little a coin with a little Aladdin lamp on it on one side. Uh. Aladdin Castle. Otip says he's been in severe pain for 30 years, 24-7, and it gets worse each year. Ugh. I'm, will you keep reading while I read this? I mean, right now it's not saying anything. It's a hornet. That knife. Aladdin's Castle Aladdin token. Castle Game Token. Is that like when you go to... Magic Castle and you get tokens. <laughs> Does anyone know what Magic Castle is? Probably not. He said everyone sends their own little signature thing and packages. So as you see, you have an Aladdin's Castle game token. As a kid, he spent a lot of time with his friends. So every time he sees the name, he thinks of nothing but good friends Food, good times, and sharing a moment in time with the people you care about and love. Thank you very much, brother. I save all of my letters, all of my correspondence. I keep them all. What's down here in the bottom? What is this? It's This looks familiar. I think this is a Forrest Hanks uh, baggie. I've got a Bag. Forrest Hanks in one of these before. And here it is. Check this out. Do you know what it is? Oh, it, the ends are the end is rubber. Is this a blue light or a, what do you call it? It's called a black light. A black light. So I mean. <laughs> oh, sweet. Now I have one. Doesn't that have something to do with your uh, with my spinner? What do you think? Yes, dude, that is so cool. Um, let's see. Oh, tip, how old were you when you were in your accident? I mean, I know you said it was you've been in pain for 30 years, but I also don't know how old you are. Dude, this thing is cool. 
check this out. It's a uh, black light. UV light? A UV light. What's the difference between a UV light and a black light? I think it's the same thing. Okay. Dude, it's my first UV light. It, this this should charge these. Uh, oh. What? He was 24 when he was in his x -Men. Wow, this is... My other my other O lights would not charge these these lights at all. This has actually made the reds show up. Oh no, Dwayne K, that'll never be a thing. Check it out; it made everything glow. I've never seen all the colors on this before. Dwayne K says now you can check your hotel rooms for stains. Yeah, but I've never seen these these uh, colors glow before. Josh oh, just says, barely. I wrote like a three-year-old having Tourette's outbreak mid-epileptic seizure. <laughs> this light is cool. Thank you very much. You're cool. You're cool. Thank you. I now have a, like, this is like a powerful black light. Isn't that cool? That is the coolest thing ever. Thank you very much. Darnell says, pain makes us stronger. Only six years for me. Uh, just took hydrocodone. Had chemo two days ago. Stomach intestines out twice. Ooh. Dang. All I got to say, y'all are troopers. Hi, cue ball. Cue ball. I didn't see you earlier, but now I guess I shall say good night, cue ball. <laughs> Have a good weekend, sir. Have a good evening, brother. Thanks for hanging out. I hadn't seen him say anything. I didn't know if he was in here. Drew Stephen Troy says cat pee glows under UV light. Cat pee glows? I don't see why I wouldn't. My uh, my cam isn't showing up. Your cam? Yeah, my knife cam. I wonder if that's what the tinking sound was. Did something come unconnected? I don't think so. Huh. I don't know what's going on. Can you tell us the name of the black light flashlight? Um, I'll show it to you. That's okay. We still appreciate you being here, Cuba. Butch Cassidy says, my wife is a cancer survivor, too. She's the toughest person I know. Yeah, that is awesome. What are you looking for? I'm trying to get this, the camera going again. Oh. Dwayne Case says, protein pin? Um... Let me see. Where did I set it? Here it is. All right. Let's take a look. Papa Rhino says, I made it. You made it. Avoid eye exposure. Um, <laughs> That's good to know. Yep. UV light, 395. What is that? 395 millimeter? Automotive leaks, bodily fluids, blood, and scorpions. Ha! <laughs> you could you could check for scorpions with it. This thing is pretty cool. Otip says, "At Stacy, I really can't complain. It was my choice that put me there. I was a ranger. It was part of the job." And Stacy said, my neighbor has beat cancer three times, but trying to find out if it might have to be four times. Ugh. Four times is just too many. It's not fair. Uh, night, Iggy. Night, have a, Iggy. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Scorpions look cool under UV light, Matt Harvey said. Yeah, they, they glow like a really, really cool looking iridescent green. Um, gonna be a stupid question do we have scorpions here no okay no scorpions in ohio That's what I thought. except for ones people bought it at, at a uh pet shop so mattis faction can buy a uv light shine it on all the scorpions and that is his version of fireflies yep 
And we have fireflies that are cooler than scorpions. Yes, our our fireflies are cooler. And I got to see Mattis Faction catch his first firefly. He was like a little kid in the candy he was store. A, yes, he was out in the front yard at Blade Show. It was the first time he had seen fireflies. Just it's the the little things. I th I think a lot of folks that live in like areas like Arizona and stuff when they come east or come to a place like I Ohio and everything is super green, I would imagine it would it would be so different. Just like if I went to Arizona, I would look around and be like nothing's green. <laughs> Todd Carr said it's a wavelength of the light, I think, in nanometers. Okay, you know, I wondered if that was an N. It is. Thank you very much. Because while I was reading that, I thought maybe it was just my eyesight. But it was N. It was an N. N-M. Night, Tim B. Have a good weekend. Night, brother. True Stubborn Choice says fireflies versus windshield. <laughs> yeah. They were supposed to be, what, really good last night? That is an N. Oh, yeah. Last night was a really good night for fireflies. It is an N. 30, 395, what do you say? Nano something? Nanometers. Nanometers. Don't use the UV light at a hotel. You'll be sleeping on the floor. I, I imagine the floor would be just the same. Uh, we have lots of fireflies here in New Hampshire. Dwayne K said lightning bugs. That's what I call them is lightning bugs. That's what we bugs. call them too. That's but... what we call them. Some, fo some folks don't know what a lightning bug is. You'd be like, does it zap you? Butch Cassidy said we have scorpions in Alabama and the sting is very painful. It burns. Well, don't get close to them. Yeah. Silly goose. Otip said, I miss lightning bugs. I grew up in Indiana. Oh, yeah. So... Are lightning bugs just not out west? Is that what the deal is? I know that you need lush areas for lightning bugs. We have a lot of lightning bugs here. They they light to attract mates. Yeah, yes, they the, do. Like, the way they flash is a certain meaning or something. Like I think you can tell different things by how fast they're flashing and stuff like that. Level one up said there's a place 10 minutes from me, a field by a river. And every spring there are literally thousands and thousands of fireflies. And it's one of the most beautiful sights I've ever seen. Yeah. Up at the farm, man, out there, you know, there's not as much light pollution. <laughs> it's kind of in the country and the fireflies are just wow. Lightning bugs. Otip said where I live is a subtropical rainforest and we never get lightning bugs. Oh, okay. You have, yeah, you have to have a certain type of environment for lightning bugs. Ha, Matt Harvey said, Scorpions, great bands. Yep. They were one of the good ones. Dwayne K says, Scorpions, or, love it first sting. Love it first sting. All right, we got to wrap it up. My, my eyes are tired, and we've had a lot of fun. Males are short flashes. Females are long flashes. Yes, Dwayne K, I have seen a mayfly, mayfly hatch out a few times up at Kelly's Island in Lake, on Lake Erie. And underneath the, the street lamp, they would be six, seven inches deep. Gross. Yeah. You couldn't see the pot machines because they'd be covered in two inches of mayflies. Yep. It's about time to start wine. I'm not going to lie. I read Darnell's thing. It's a... I read it as... Daughter catches lightning caterpillars, <laughs> throws them down hard, says, light it up, says, lit up. But it's not a caterpillar, it's a bug. It's a bug. But it's a caterpillar emoji. You know what I'm trying to say? Say yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you bunches. Oh, I really got to lean. Love you bunches. Thanks for joining. See you next week. Toodles. Toodles. Yeah, Dwayne K. Putin Bay and uh, Kelly's Island are, are some of my favorite places to go. I love smallmouth fishing. I just love fishing. Yep. <laughs> yep. That was uh, a very fast four hours. It goes by really quick. Time to take out my contacts. And wow, it's after midnight. Everyone's saying thank you.
you guys, you guys, you guys are so awesome. You gals are so awesome. Like this has been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the addition. I hope you enjoyed the, the knife cam. This will come in handy, you know, and we'll get better at using it. And, you know, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. We have different options. My, my goal is to make the live stream is the highlight of my week. And I want to make it fun. I want to make it interactive. And I love talking to you all. If you'd like to have me have a guest every once in a while, I'll certainly can do that. And I'll have a guest and I'll let them know that you guys are the most important thing as long as they want to be interactive with me. Because I would hate to do a live stream and not get to interact with you all. And I really appreciate everyone that leaves comments and all the and all the uh, the videos. You're so supportive. It's so awesome. Everyone, everyone is saying our good nights. Which Pat Bush Cassie's going fishing. But you all are absolutely amazing. You are. It's about time to end the broadcast. Hate to do it, but we got to do it. I love you all. Remember to live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. <laughs>